Hello everyone. So one thing that many of you might have figured out by now is that I really like shovelware. This is something that I have in common with uh, with Gemini of ancient DOS games, or I guess of uh, Pixel Amusement uh, with his series Shovelware Diggers. Yeah, we just we really love shovelware because uh, you know the, the term used to be used pejoratively back in the day in the 1990s. Shovelware was used as a pejorative term to refer to. Uh, CDs where people just shoveled a bunch of software together without any really uh, added value. But the thing is, there were a lot of compilations of, you know, shareware games and free games and things like that that uh, would have been very hard to find back in the day. And so these shovelware CDs, what ended up happening was they were sort of time capsules rather than just being garbage, you know, just the sort of useless uh, collections of software which you could easily get for uh, for free, as they were often reputed to be, to be back in the day. The reality is that they actually ended up as uh, archives of, uh, of a lot of computer gaming history because without these shovelware CDs, it would have been very difficult, if not impossible, to find a lot of games which uh, which I still play today. Uh, and I've made videos about shovelware in the past. I've gone through part of the uh, the Game Fest CDs in previous series on this channel. But uh, what I want to do today is something a little bit different, kind of related but different. On the CD for Game Empire 2, which is another shovelware compilation, uh, there's a folder or I guess uh, a directory, back then it was still called a directory. There's a directory uh, in the root directory of the CD that's just called PIX, P-I-X. And as you might guess, it contains pictures. Yeah, it's, it's nothing but pictures. It contains several hundred, like hundreds and hundreds of pictures of uh, different games. And the point of the folder, I guess, or the, the directory is that it contains the pictures for the CD's built-in browser, because what you can do is you can run a browser program, which will actually let you look through the games on the, on the CD, um, and it will show the relevant picture for the particular game that you're looking at now. It's kind of a thumbnail. But the PIX folder also contains uh, hundreds of pictures of other games that are not even on the CD. I would estimate that only something, because the, the CD has maybe a, a couple hundred games, but the folder, the, the PIX folder or directory contains something like 800 pictures of various games. So there are a lot of pictures here which are of games that are not to be found anywhere on the CD. They're just games that, I don't know, somehow the pictures winded up, wound up winded. They, they wound up on the CD uh, because I guess whatever software house was making the CDs just jumbled them all together, just, just grouped them all together, even though not all the games that were presented there were on the disc. So what I'd like to do today is uh, try to go through, if possible, all the pictures in the PIX folder on the Game Empire 2 CD. Um, it's kind of fun because it's it's Partly, you know, a, a recognition exercise, kind of like a little game to see how many games can you recognize. And also it's partly, uh, you know, a, partly a study, partly sort of like a opening up a historical archive. Again, as I say, a time capsule. So uh, without any further ado, let's get right to it. Uh, so I'm using Irfan View, as you can see, and I'm just going to I'm just going to cycle through the uh, the pictures in the pics directory. Um, these are sorted kind of alphabetically, but Windows does weird things with alphabetical sorting. There are like there are pictures here which are called like one, two, three something, but for some reason it decided to put one girl uh, at the beginning. I guess because one is lower than one, two, three, so it's not doing like an actual character-based uh, alphabetization. It's doing, it's kind of trying to intelligently interpret the numbers, which is not always a good thing to do, but anyway. So here's where we start. Uh, and this is a game which I've actually featured on my channel. This is, of course, Elfland. Those of you who have seen the game will recognize it immediately. It's, uh, the, the file name is One Girl. I think for a lot of these pictures, you see that, that somebody had no idea what game they were looking at, and they just described what they saw. Most of the, most of the file names match the game, but some of these were just descriptive. Somebody had no idea what they were doing and just thought, oh, I see One Girl. Okay, One Girl is the name of the file then. Anyway, I shouldn't talk too long because with, with something like 800 pictures, if I say a lot for each picture, it's going to take forever. So I'll try to kind of skip through these relatively quickly with, with a relative minimum commentary. One Poker. Okay, I'll see if some poker game. First and go. Uh, I have no idea. And that text being kind of illegible is not an artifact of my video. The, the video does kind of make things a bit, bl bit blurrier than they actually are in the files, but also even in the original picture, I can't really see exactly what the text says here. I mean, you can see sort of commissioner at the top, but anyway. Two-bit. Okay, two-bit poker. Yeah. 
three card okay no idea three demon yeah it's like a 3d um kind of 3d pac-man sort of a little bit 3d man uh don't i don't hmm it reminds me a bit of um I think it's called FRAC, which is sort of like a 3D Tetris. Kind of reminds me of that. I don't know if that's what this is. It might be actually. It seems likely, but I'm not sure. 3D Maze, okay. Obviously a Windows game. There are a lot of Windows. I mean, the, the screenshots here have mixed uh, uh, Windows games and DOS games mixed together. Ooh, Bounce Zone. I think uh, I think Jim and I recently featured this on Shovelware Diggers. It's from uh, like from Compute Magazine, some game that Compute Magazine put out as a growing demonstration. Oh, hey, here we go, 3D Trex. This is another one of those games made with that VR engine, that sort of virtual reality engine, which is popular in many different sort of weird DOS demos of things back in the day. 3D Towers, uh, okay, the game's obviously called Towers. This is from the same company that made Greens, um, or actually, or is it just called Green? I think it was just called Green, uh, which I featured on my channel many years ago for like an April, Fool, April Fool's Day video. You can see from the user interface, it's the same engine that they used. 3DW, okay, no idea. Haven't seen this before. 3P, obviously some kind of basketball game. Haven't seen or played that. 3 Shuffle, okay. 3 Shuffles and a draw or something. Okay. 4 Play, okay. Obviously like a 4 square tic-tac-toe. Welcome to the 8 Puzzle version 9. Okay, I guess this looks like just a sliding puzzle game. I think that's what it is. Yeah, a sliding puzzle game. 13 out, okay, don't know, obviously a card game. 21 demo, um, now that I shuffled the deck, find the card you had selected and tell me which row it is in now. It seems like a magic trick kind of game. 23 pickups, 17 left, okay, all right. What did we, oh, Tommy's uh, counting game or something. Hey, look, it's Corn Cob 3D, great game. I don't know why it's called 301, but uh, Corn Cob 3D is a great, great flight simulator. One, I would say this is actually the only this is probably the only real shareware flight simulator, period. Like the only real flight simulator that, that was released to shareware, at least the only one that's that was widely known. Oh, this game, 1993 Tris, like some kind of Tetris variant. Um, this game, I think it was this game, that came with a really nice um, mod player and a mod file of some wonderful uh, Korean pop song from the 1980s. I think the, the pop song was called One Unopened Flower or something like that. I remember this was actually featured on some Vine Sauce video on YouTube some time ago, and, and the guy making the video actually played that song and got popular because of his video. It's a nice nice song. The, the Tetris game looks cool as well. Like it's, it's a cool Tetris game. It has, you know, stuff like obviously a gun and, you know, all the different sort of tools you can see here to sort of break down the, the block structures. But anyway, kind of a cool sort of, I guess, Korean Tetris variant thing. Kind of kind of odd, but also kind of cool. Okay, obviously a pool game of some kind. Don't recognize that. And I think this is, yeah, I think this is from the same developers that made that Tetris game that I was just talking about. Obviously it's a different game. This is some kind of a memory card game, but I feel like it might be from the same developers. Not sure, maybe I'm wrong. 21, okay, obviously a blackjack game of some kind abm commander i guess like something something anti-ballistic missile or whatever missile clone kind of thing oh um this is um i believe it's i believe this is the apocalypse abyss not to be confused with the catacomb abyss the catacomb abyss was of course that uh first person shooter like one of the earliest first person shooters from um the guys who went on to make Wolfenstein, but uh, this is the Apocalypse Abyss, if I'm not mistaken. Fairly, fairly basic game, I've, I've seen it. Accordion, okay, some kind of card game. Carl Franklin's AC Ducey, okay. Achi, bless you. Animated Clock, okay, looks like a children's game where you can choose the time that is on the clock. Acumen, Christmas tree construction kit. Des design your own Christmas trees, no idea. Ada Towers, uh, I believe that woman on the card designs is Lady Ada Lovelace, a significant figure in the history of computing. EDM, uh, okay, no idea, looks like a children's math game. Ad Maze, Mission, Ad <coughs> excuse me, Mission Adventure Maze Game by William Solo. Okay, of course, Solo Software will make several appearances in this folder. Admiral's Command, okay, obviously a battleship type of game. Oh, Alien Force, I've played this. It's pretty much exactly what it looks like. It's just a base, very basic sort of grid-based shooter for Windows. Africa. Africa Desert Campaign by Matt 
bowel movement or something. Okay, I'll do some old sort of war game. Aggravation, I think. I seem to recall that I've seen this game. It doesn't really... Oh, or maybe you're thinking of this aggression. Okay, aggression. I'm pretty sure I've seen this. Uh, it's nothing. It's just like a puzzle game, I guess. Oh, Air Duel. I like this game. It's a very simple game, but it's actually kind of cool. I like the I like the, the implementation of it. Kind of fun for five minutes. Aldo's Adventure. Yes, of course. Classic Aldo's Adventure. And more Aldo's Adventure. Yes. Very, very frustrating series. Very difficult, but um, classic shareware games. Oh, this game... Uh, what is it called? Alien something. Yeah, I've played this. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's basically a mouse-controlled game. You, you play that astronaut and you shoot the aliens. That's all there is to it. You can also see on the left somebody's some of these pictures. Somebody's like scribbled on them with paint or something. Somebody made like four strokes with the paintbrush and paint here. I don't know why. It's, uh, and also in the middle, some like somebody painted over that cloud a bit. I don't know. People did some weird things with these pictures in this uh, in this directory. Um, I remember looking up the guy who made this game. He went on to be significant in the body modifications see him like if you if you look up his name now you'll actually see a lot of hits for bod mod pages where people do you know like not just like piercings but like more serious sort of modifications to their bodies along those lines kind of like the lizard man i guess you know if you know that lizard man guy so the guy who made this game is the same guy who went on to be a well-known figure in that scene all right aliens something okay i was just kind of aliens attack game no idea it reminds me a little bit of uh Frog Fractions too, you know, there's that room in Frog Fractions too, where it looks kind of like this, but no. Anyway. Alien Tick, so Alien Tic-Tac-Toe with uh, alienized extraterrestrial versions, obviously, of Bart and Lisa. Uh, seems like just a tic-tac-toe game. Alpha. Uh, Alpha tr something Alphatron? Don't know. Alpha Man from Solo Software. Alpha Waves, this is actually a very creative sort of game. This is a pretty unique game. If you've not seen Alpha Waves, I'd recommend checking it out. It's it's not much of a game. It's more like, it's it feels kind of like a demo, but it's kind of kind of cool. Uh, kind of unique, yeah. If you've never, uh, it's basically just, let's, let's just like a, a third person sort of bouncing thing where you try to make your robot bounce on the different pads to bounce to a different, to a higher height. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't describe that very well. Check it out. More of Alpha Man from Solo Software. Okay, multiplication table. Seems pretty straightforward. Antil. Um, I've, not, I've not seen this before. I don't know. Don't know. Antic. Okay. Ant Run. Again, by Solo Software. I've played this. Basically, you can see it's kind of like, kind of like Pipe Dream. Again, Alpha Waves. I think this is a French game, actually, because, yeah, I mean... That word drapeau at the bottom, well, just because that word is there doesn't mean the game has to be French, but I think the game is French. I could be wrong. Alien Poker, yeah. Basic poker game, just the novelties that you're playing against aliens. Apples and Oranges, I believe this is just Reversi or Othello. Yes, Animal Quest from Alive Software. I believe LGR has made a video about this. I mean, it's a fairly basic game, but it's, it's a game about animals on a quest. Aquaman by Solo Software again, another puzzle game from Solo Software. Aqu ah, Aquanoid, I believe, yeah, Aquanoid instead of Arcanoid. <laughs> Arachnid, I guess Spider Solitaire. What is this? This looks like it might actually be kind of interesting. I have not played this or even seen this. RC2, no idea. Hmm, looks interesting. Arg, yeah, um, just look, one of these sliding block puzzle games. I think the, the point here is to get that big blue block on the left to slide out from the right-hand side, if I remember right. I had a game that was like that when I was a kid, like a wooden block puzzle. Arriva, I guess I've played this pretty basic game. I guess you move that yellow line, or it's kind of like Snake, except not exactly. Arc demo, so Arc, instead of Arcanoid, it's just Arc. Army, okay. All right, some kind of war game. Ooh, Arctic Adventure, one of uh, one of Apogee's earliest games. Very good game. I like I like this game a lot. It's pretty pretty cool. Asteroid, okay, some kind of asteroids game, I guess. Doesn't really look like asteroids, but it's hard to tell. Astrophia, I've, I've played this. It's it's also an asteroids clone. Um, pretty cool asteroids clone for DOS. And there's that voice at the beginning. There was this Astrophia. That sort of British accent. Oh, ATC, air traffic uh, control simulation. It's not, well, it's not really simulation. It's a very simple, simplistic kind of game, but a lot of fun. I've actually spent quite a bit of time playing this Battle for Atlantis from Solo Software again. Atomic. Um, what's that? 
there's a similarly named game or a similarly themed game where you have to build atoms or molecules out of particles. I forget the name. I guess this looks like it might be similar to that. Attacks, okay. Don't know. Board game, obviously. Auto, yes, one of several CGA pinball um, CGA pin, uh, games made with the CGA pinball engine, which I believe Gemini's featured on his channel. Yes, uh, Avi, Avericus, yes, Averius Denaticus Sextus, yes, wonderful adventure game. This is actually, this is a really great uh, adventure game. Um, highly recommend it. Um, I, I believe it has a sequel as well. It has a sequel called like Sir Avalot Anjou or something like that. I don't remember, but uh, yeah, great, great games, both of them. Axtron, okay, don't know. Aztec, oh. Oh, I, I think of yeah. I think I had this game as a. I had this game as a uh, yeah. The Aztec Curse. I had a plastic version of this as a kid that was called Drive You Nuts. You basically just turn the hexagons around so that the numbers line up, and that's the goal of the game. Pretty simple. Looks like somebody here has already done that. Yeah, looks like they're all lined up. Nice. Before you go, no idea. I think I've seen the name but never played it. Bouncing Babies. Yeah, this is um. This is a game that I really wanted to play when I was a kid. Uh, it looks fun, but it's there's not much to it. Like it's it's literally just moving the that trampoline back and forth to save the bouncing babies. It, it looks pretty cool at first, but it gets it gets old very fast. Uh, it's fun for maybe a few minutes, uh, and then all of it kind of wears off. Ultimate Baccarat, I believe, which was uh, one of many games made by a company making ultimate versions of various card and casino games. Okay. Somewhat less ultimate Baccarat, just like a text-based Baccarat game. Okay, Back Alley, another um, CGA pinball engine thing. Backup. Uh, this looks like Sorry. You know, the board game Sorry. I think it is. I'm going to guess this is, yeah, I think this is just like Sorry. And it's called Backup because, you know, when you bump somebody off and say Sorry, then they have to go back. They back up to the start. Bag, uh, Bago. Okay, probably Boggle. Looks like a Boggle game. Yeah, Baron Baldrich, uh, A Grave Overture. This was the predecessor to Mystic Towers. This was made by some relatively obscure Australian software company back in the day, if I'm not mistaken. And it served as sort of the inspiration for um, Apogee's uh, Mystic Towers, which is a relatively well-known DOS game of the day. Oh, um, I have played this. Uh, it's called Jump. Uh, not with a J, but like with a D S C H, because I think it's. I think this game is actually made in South Africa, and so it's like in, in Afrikaans, or at least maybe the game's not in Afrikaans, but at least it has like some influence from that, and so it's called Jump with with again with D S C H instead of a J. But basically, it's about a bouncing ball. Yeah, it's it's. I think it was published by Homebrew Software, if I remember right. Ooh, what is it? I forget the name of this. Balloon something, obviously. I mean, it's just about balloons. Yeah. It's called Balloon something. I forget the second word of the title. Balls. Okay. Haven't played this. This looks a little bit like... Uh, what's that game called? It's like some kind of... I want to say Orby, like O-R-B-Y, but I could be wrong. I don't know. It seems like a game like that. Who knows? I have no idea. I've, never, I've not played this. Bananoid. Yes, another um, Arcanoid clone, obviously. I've played this. Pretty decent game. Ban. Okay, I don't know what the title. Of this. Was. Oh, I guess this is Tron. This is Tron. I don't know what the the Banat. I guess the T R is Tron. I don't know what the B A N A is supposed to mean. Bandit. Yeah, I think this game is just called Bandit. This was on the first Game Fest CD. I played it for about thirty seconds. It was okay. It's like it's it's a game. It's like an asteroids kind of shooter game, sort of. Ban okay, yeah, Bandit, the one, yeah, VGA Bandit, the one-armed Bandit. It says VGA Bandit, but it's actually text-based, as you can see, so it's kind of a little bit misleading. Bandor, um, no idea, I've not played this. I do not know, obviously, some sort of first-person RPG. Bang Bang, yes, great game for uh, Windows 3.0 and 3.1. Um, I mean, it's just like an artillery game, but it's a very simple sort of Windows game. Kind of, Kind of nice, I like this game. Oh, uh, what's this called? Bar Bar or something like that? I've played this. Was, this was also on the first Game Fest CD. Very simple sort of game. I believe it's a French game. It had no documentation. Basically, you just walk around and stuff happens. <laughs> kind, of, kind of fun for a few minutes, but difficult to understand. Base C. Uh, no idea. Don't know. Bass Tour. Yes, good uh, good fishing game. I think I featured. I think I've had this on my channel previously. 
Bata Battalion, Battalia, okay, two-player shooting game with, like, TIE Fighters from Star Wars or something. Once again, Battle for Atlantis from Solo Software. Battlesat, okay, looks like a battleship kind of game. Battle s Star, maybe? I don't know, Battle Storm, no idea, I've not played this. Oh, it's the uh, infusion, the invasion of the mutant space mutant space bats of doom or something like that. I played this game. It's a pretty, eh, it's a basic sh space shooter. It's pretty much what you see is what you get. Battle Grid. Okay, I'll see another uh, battleship game. Oh yes, of course. Uh, Operation Body Count. Yes, a um, relatively forgotten DOS shooter of the day. Brain. Brain cubes, okay. Darts, okay, obviously a darts game of some kind. Oh yes, Battles on Distant Planets. Mostly memorable for the name. I like the name better than the game. Beast, okay, no idea. Bees. Beyond, oh, Beyond Columns, yeah. Basically it's Columns except Beyond Columns. Bastille, okay. Bible, okay, a Bible, uh, Bible knowledge game, I guess. Big Two, yeah, the game is actually called Big Two. It's from Tegel, uh, T E G L, um, which was a software company that made a handful of uh, mouse-based DOS games like this. Not too confused with Tegel, which is where the Berlin Airport used to be. Billiards, okay, obviously some kind of billiard game. Oh, this is Billy the Kid from uh, Alive Software. Uh, not not a very good game in my opinion. I, I played it a lot, but just because I was that bored when I was young, um, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend. I mean, eh, it's not horrible, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Bip Bop, uh, yes, uh, Ross from Accursed Farms. Uh, I think Ross's Game Dungeon featured this game in one episode. Bit Bat, okay. Uh, I've not. Don't think I've played this. No, I don't think so. Berserk, okay, I guess like a clone of Berserk, the classic arcade game. BJ, okay, you can hardly see anything here, but from the file name, I'm going to guess that's a blackjack game. Seems logical. This is obviously Batgammon. Blackout, I've actually never played this. I've, I remember even seeing a, a very small article in like the last section of an old issue of PC Magazine about this game, and I always wanted to play it, but I've never actually played it. I should sometime. Seems, it seems okay. It seems like a, a game that might be fun to play for a few minutes. Black Box, uh, no idea, haven't played it. Blammo, okay, not much to see here. It looks, oh, I think it's, it's, is this Tron again? It looks like it's Tron again, the Light Cycles game. Blast, oh, this is Moraf Super Blast, one of many Moraf's games. This is Moraf's take on Breakout or Arkanoid or whatever. Block Breaker, more straightforward <laughs> Breakout clone. Blind Wars from Solo Software. Another blackjack game. Another blackjack game. Yet another blackjack game. Still more blackjack. Lock hole. Okay, well, you know, I mean, that's why you need to get more fiber in your diet. It's important to avoid that situation. All right, block, okay, this looks like blockades. I guess this looks also kind of like Tron Light Cycles. It's like one of those, yeah, one of those games. Blocko, oh, block out. Um, this is another 3D Tetris game. Looks kind of like it. Ah, Block Man from Solo Software. Yes. Blood. No idea. Looks like a war strategy game. Like I don't know, maybe like Risk or something. No idea. Haven't haven't seen it or played it. It's obviously the same game. Ah, Blort Two. Yes, a very very uh, simple. Um, kind of space invaders kind of game really not not very much fun v very simple game extremely I, most of all I just like the name blort I've actually sort of taken that word into my vocabulary when something goes wrong or when I'm annoyed I'll just say blort because of this game so now you know blocks okay looks like um, obviously a Tetris game uh, seems like a very straightforward conversion or clone of Tetris G Cluley is that the same Graham Cluley who made uh, Jacaranda Jim and Humbug and went on to be a well-known uh, authority in the computer security field who's often quoted in articles on the subject. I think it might be. I don't know. Uh, Blue Balls. Yes, I played this for a bit. It's uh, 
It's not as painful as it sounds, but it's... Uh, it's uh, yeah. Block logic? Don't know. Once again, Block Man from Solo Software. Bomb Squad. Ah, looks like a Mastermind type of game. Bog. Oh, I guess probably Boggle. Yeah, Bog for Windows. It's a Boggle clone again. Bolo Adventures 3 from Solo Software. Bolo something else. Looks like also from Solo Software, I guess, probably. Pretty sure. Bolo Ball from Solo Software. Yes, they really like their bolos. Bolo Adventures 3 again from Solo Software. Yes, Mr. Solo was a big fan of bolo in, in all its forms. So. Bom oh, Bo what? No idea. I really have no idea. <laughs> Not a clue, sorry. Oh, Bomb, uh, later known as Tank Wars. I featured this in a video on my channel. Very good game. Lots of fun. I love this game. It's, uh, yeah, tons of fun. This is obviously a similar game, except uh, not as good. I think I've played this. Yeah, it's a, it's a fairly... I mean, it's a it's a playable clone, but it's just it's not nearly as much fun as Tank Wars or uh, Scorched Earth. Oh, ah, uh, Bombers. Is this... Uh, I think it's called Sky Bombers or something like that. Not a very good game. Um, yeah, it's it's quite it's quite bad. The controls are quite bad. It's really fairly. Um, yeah, it it looks okay. I mean, it, it actually this is actually a bad screenshot. It looks better than this. Uh, it's it's kind of like one of those. It tries to be kind of like a beat 'em up game or something, like an arcade style beat 'em up game on the PC, but it's not very good. The controls are terrible. Bomb boy. Okay, I think I've seen this but not played it. Seems seems interesting. Maybe. Bomb Squad again. Oh, this is, oh, this is Minesweeper. It's Minesweeper for DOS. Okay. Boom, boomerang. Okay. Don't know. Haven't played it. Okay. I don't know why the file name is Box Adam, but this is obviously Heavy Water Jogger, which I have made a video on. I did make a video on this long, long ago. Box Cars. Okay. Dice game of some kind. Ooh, Evil Crypt. I like how the final is just boxes. Somebody saw this and had no idea what the game is called, even though it says at the top it's called Evil Crypt. Yeah, this is Evil Crypt by Kurt Keisler. Um, I mean, it, it is it is what it is. The whole game view is just that like three by three square in the middle. Uh, that's that's where you play the game. It's actually kind of cool. It 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 looks very s silly and simple, but it was more fun than I thought it would be. Box World. Okay, looks like a Soko. Yeah, it's a Soko Band clone, I guess. Bozo Bo, no idea. I have not seen this. I actually have no idea. Bratok, with the idea of learning the signification of the dream. Okay, this looks like the library of the, or the word library there on the left. So obviously the person is going to the library trying to try and learn the signification of the dream, which I think should be significance, but what do I know? Uh, okay, I have no idea. Bratok could be anything. If I doubt it's an adventure game. This is probably just part of the game's plot, but maybe it's I don't know. Maybe an RPG. I have no idea. It looks interesting, actually. I'd, I'd be curious to uh, see what what kind of game this is. Is it as interesting as it as it looks from here? Uh, okay. Don't know. I have no idea. Um, gosh, E. Oh wait, no. I think that's. I think there's. Oh no, it's called Bratz. Sorry, you can't see the whole file name, but the the file name is called Bratz. Okay, don't know. Break in. Okay. Um, another obviously another uh, like breakout instead of breakout, it's break in. Bricks. Okay, very Spartan sort of breakout clone. Bridge. Okay, contract bridge. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Bricks. Yeah, Epic Mega Games is. Uh, game about bricks. Brutal Battle, obviously a one-on-one -on -one fight game. Haven't played it, but I think that, again, once it, as with most fight games, it plays pretty much how it looks. BS Pro, the Spro, no idea. B-Star, don't know. B-Stone, yes, Blake Stone, great, uh, obviously, I mean, one of the classic first-person shooters, uh, 
unfortunately released right around the time as Doom, and so it suffered because of that. It was kind of like a follow-on to Wolfenstein 3D, but it uh, didn't didn't really get the attention it deserved, I think, because at the time it was already well overshadowed by Doom. Oh, Blackthorn from uh, Interplay. Yeah, this is, I guess, um, and this is a commercial game. This is not shareware. Maybe it's either this is either this is Wares or it's from a demo. But yeah, of course, it's Blackthorn. But Button Madness. Okay, doesn't really tell you much, but okay. Bugs. Okay. Burner. Troll burners. No idea. I that looks. That looks like the snake game, except with like 10 different snakes all at once. Ah, Bushido, I think I've played this. It's a pretty, um, I mean, it's a DOS beat em up kind of game. It's not that good. I mean, I guess it was pretty good for the time because you can see it's obviously a CGA game. So I guess it was, I guess it was all right at the time when, when CGA DOS was still a thing, but it's not, not necessarily a game I'd recommend today. Bust Out, okay, obviously another breakout clone. Blind Wars, CJ version from Solo Software. Physiques. No idea. Calc Calcol Sol, some kind of solitaire. Okay. Canfield. Okay. Can oh, oh, it's um, Cannon Fodder. Yes, of course. Everybody loves Cannon Fodder. It's a uh, yeah, popular game. For some reason, I like Darwinia better than Cannon Fodder, but that's just me. Or maybe ah yes, capture the flag. Of course, uh, one of the one of the definitive um, shareware games. This this was one of the games that really sort of defined shareware as a genre for uh, for DOS back in the day. Capital. Oh, so you just guess the capitals of countries, or maybe not guess. Maybe you say, yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Cairo is the capital of Botswana. False or true? Well, that's no. Cairo is the capital of Egypt. Also, it's hard to read there. You can see at the top there is that the the word Parham, which I think is a person's name. I think that's the name of the person who was testing these games because that that name shows up again and again as player names in this uh, in this list of pictures. So, it's not just. The reason I like going through this folder is because it's not just kind of like thinking about the games. It's also just sort of thinking about Parham's story. Like, who was Parham, and what was he or she doing as a job? Was was it their job just to catalog all the games on the CD and make pictures of them all? Because that, yeah, Parham's name shows up again and again as we go through these pictures. Capture, okay, this is once again, um, we saw this before, it's Air, what was it called, Air Duel, I think. You can see once again, somebody scribbled with the gray brush in the upper right for some reason. Yeah, here we go again. Parham, is it lower or higher? So I guess this is kind of like higher or lower. So they asked Karen how many said they think it is the man's role, and then Parham has to guess is the number lower or higher than 47, which I guess is the guess that Karen made. It's like a game show kind of thing. Carnage, yes, of course, Alien Carnage, also known as Halloween Harry. Casino Blackjack. Castle of the Winds, yes, I like this game. It's a nice RPG for uh, for Windows. It's uh, from Epic Mega Games, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty pretty cool RPG for the time. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's Windows 3.0. What can you expect? It's pretty cool, in my opinion. Cat it says cat, but that's a squirrel. That's of course Scunny the squirrel. And I believe this game is what is it? It's called Lost in Space or something like that. It's basically a a, a clone of. Uh, Oh, what was the original game? I think the original game was called Moon Patrol for the Apple II or something like that. And this is just a clone of that. Ca yeah, here we go. Catacomb Abyss uh, from, um, yeah, back then it was Soft Disk. And of course, the guys behind this went on to make Wolfenstein 3D. Catch em. Okay. Cat face level. I guess you catch things. Okay, it looks like you catch things that are falling. So kind of like Breakout, except maybe without. I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there are no bricks. Maybe you just have to catch the thing as, as they bounce, kind of like foot bag. CB coloring book. Yeah, I think this is coloring book. This is not a game. Looks like a coloring book. It's, uh, balloon challenge from Solo Software. A pretty cool game. I like this one. CBT. I have no idea. I can't read that. I mean, I don't know if that stands for. Cogn cognitive behavioral therapy or cock and ball torture. I'm going to guess it's probably neither of those, but then I have no idea what it is. Uh, oh, Chinese chess, of course, made famous by Battle Chess 2, but this is kind of like a knockoff version without the 
cool uh, 3D fighting and stuff. It's just, yeah, it's just Chinese chess. Uh, and this is Chinese checkers. Yeah. yeah. I've actually never played this on the computer. I played this a lot as a kid. Um, but I always thought it was a little bit boring because you can't capture pieces. You just have to jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. All right. Oh, yes, Captain Comic. Uh, classic DOS platformer game. Uh, the file name is called CD Break. Oh, I see. The game's called Code Breaker. Uh, it's, uh, again, a mastermind game. Sea Desert. This is uh, another Scunny game. I believe it's called Desert Raid. Yeah, I think it's Desert Raid uh, in the Scunny series from uh, Copysoft, I think was the name of the, comp uh, name of the company behind it. And yeah, you can see once again somebody made with paint. They made like a black rectangle there just for, just for giggles because why not? CD Man, pretty good, uh, pretty good Pac-Man clone for DOS. Actually, quite, uh, quite interesting. Quite a good game in my opinion. Uh, yeah, it's a cemetery, but this is of course Monster Bash from Apogee. Mm, good, good platformer if you like horror-themed kind of games like that. CJ Tour, I guess. Uh, yeah, golf game. Obviously, a golf game in CGA. Very nice. Ah, Chagunitsu. Um, yes, Apogee's Chagunitsu. Um, I think there's, yeah, there's also a screenshot from Paganitsu, the, the sequel, uh, in this directory. We'll see that later, hopefully. Chain. Chain reaction. Okay, some kind of puzzle game. Chase. Don't know. Oh, I think I've played this. I feel like I've played this, but I don't remember much about it. Checkers, obviously. Not much to say about that. More che checkers. Okay. Chess. I mean... Maybe some of you might have heard of chess before. Also, I like that this appears to be using exactly the same. They, they've literally ripped off the graphics from Chess Master 3000 for Windows and just put them in their game. Okay, another chess game, which doesn't look very good. I mean, visually it doesn't look very appealing, but maybe it's a good chess game anyway. Who knows? Chexo from Solo Software. Chirmus. Okay, I'm, getting, I'm guessing this is the Christmas levels for jet I mean this is jetpack the game is jetpack and this is I guess the the Christmas levels for it probably gonna guess chomp obviously a pac-man clone oh chopper command or chopper commando I think it's called a uh, great game very good game I I've had this game on my channel before very much like this game great great game I can't uh, I can hardly recommend it highly enough just thumbs up all around wonderful game very good game Cypher for Windows. Okay, some kind of yeah, cipher solving game. Qu Pro Quatris Pro. I don't know why the file name says like Citadel. When the game's already called Quatris Pro. Classic. Okay, yeah, classic concentration. There you go. Parham, you can see it's playing classic concentration in what looks like CGA. Actually, no, this is this is not CGA, it has too many colors for CGA. It's like it looks like CGA, but it's not, I don't think. Clean up, okay, no idea. Clock solitaire, okay. Ah, yes, Clyde's uh, Clyde's adventure, uh, classic shareware platformer for DOS. C missile, okay, looks like a missile command clone. CMR, uh, looks like a chess game. Okay, like chess master. I don't know, I can't quite read that text there. Oh. It's Yugoslavia. This is made from someone, uh, made by someone in, in the former Yugoslavia, I guess. Okay, cool. Coffee. Don't know. Colors. Don't know. You can see Parham has almost finished entering his name in the upper left. I mean, it looks like a Columns or a maybe a Dr. Mario clone. Comcheck. Um, once again, Parham is up. Uh, I have no idea. This looks like. I mean, it looks like checkers, except with weird robot faces or something instead of normal pieces. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, comets. Okay. Comet busters! Exclamation mark. Yeah, it looks like asteroids. Oh, I guess it's two-player asteroids. I've not played this, but just looking from the screenshot, it looks like two-player asteroids, which is cool in my book. Yeah, concentration again, I guess. Confound. Confound come? Don't know. Conject. Okay. Parham's playing Conject. Don't know. What, um, oh, Connect 4. Okay. Pretty. Seems like a pretty straightforward clone. 
connects. Okay, let's get another Pipe Dream style game. Conquest, no idea. I, I mean, really hard to tell from a title screen like this. Constitution, okay. Yes, of course, Cosmos Cosmic Adventure. Craps, more craps. More craps. This was, you know, this is really a thing. I mean, we, we've really gone past the days when this could be a thing anymore, but it was not that uncommon back in the day, like in the 1980s and 1990s, but especially in the 1980s, that people would just make computerized versions of, you know, chess, checkers, craps, backgammon, poker, whatever, and, and these games were actually kind of, kind of common. People thought that they could make some money just, just making cheap craps games and selling them for, uh, you know, for a few bucks. But yeah, it, it, all those type of clone games that could have existed, they've been made long ago. So it's a little, a little late for anyone who thinks that their uh, dream career is making games like this. I think that ship has sailed by now, unfortunately. More craps. I believe this is Ultimate Craps from the same company that makes those other Ultimate games that I've mentioned. Crates. Uh, no idea. Looks uh, well. Okay. Uh, looks like Sokoban. Crazy. Oh, Crazy Eights. I guess probably. Crib, uh, obviously Cribbage, which is a good game to, to know if you want to play Heroes Quest or Quest for Glory 1 because the Hermit always wants you to play Cribbage with him. More Cribbage. Crib Par. Crispy. Uh, kings on top, queens on the side, and jacks in the corners. I have no idea. Croc, Super Croc. Okay. Uh, don't know. Croquet. Solitary croquet. I mean, I don't know. It looks it looks like a fairly amateurish croquet game, but I've not played this, so maybe it's actually good. Who knows? Maybe it's good. Cross down. Okay. Crossword puzzle. Crosswords deluxe. Okay. Cru Crusades. Don't know. Crusher Castle from Solo Software. Yes. Uh, Crusher. Something else from Solo Software. Oh, Cryptix. Uh, isn't this just, uh, I think this is just like a image scramble game or something, if I remember right. I don't know, I could be wrong. USA Crypto. Oh, okay, yeah, another crypto solving game. Crystal. Hey, I have not played this. This looks cool. Well, appearances can be deceiving, but I, I like the looks of this. Looks like, looks like a good game. It looks like something I'd like to play. I have no idea. I don't know what this is. I've never seen it, never played it. Gosh. Hmm. If anyone knows what this is, please feel free to post in the comments. In fact, in general, if there are any games that you think are noteworthy and that you want to single them out and say, hey, that's this game, please, of course, feel free to write in the comments. I'm always curious to identify some of these games. Uh, this, of course, is Crystal, uh, Crystal Caverns, which recently came out with a uh, so-called, uh, like, I guess, high-definition remake or something. Um, good game. Cuber by William Solo. Okay, Cubic, obviously Rubik's Cube. Curses. I think this is not a game, it's just some kind of like wordplay kind of word generator thing, whatever. CWC created by something for this person's name for a piece. Oh, oh, crossword creator. Okay, I get it. Cards workshop. No idea. Looks like a word search. Cyber something, okay. Uh, no idea. Cyber... Um, looks like a board game? Cyber chess, maybe? Is this like a... It looks like a... Kind of like a chess game, except... With like a cyberpunk theme? I don't know. It looks kind of cool. I mean, if it's that, it's just chess. It's just like a visually changed version of chess, but it looks looks all right. Cyber Space Cruiser. I've never played this or seen it. It doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look very good, but it's hard to tell. You never know. Ooh, what's this? Looks like just, an, just another two-player sort of robot battle game, but uh, I've not, not seen this. Looks all right. I mean, the graphics look decent. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, it's two robots. Like It's, it's two 10-pixel tall robots on an abstract kind of background. Cybox. Oh, Cyberbox. I have played this. It's a puzzle game. It's not bad. It's kind of a cool puzzle game. Cyrus. Okay. Looks like a chess game, obviously. Danny. Oh, I, think, I think it's not a game. This is like another one of those kids 
things for like I don't know one of those Tommy's things where well, it says Danny instead of Tommy I don't know oh yes Dark Ages one of uh, Apogee's early games for uh, DOS not very good I didn't really like this one the the movement is very stiff in this one in my opinion hey it's uh, it's Dark Wolf uh, is it called Dark Wolf I should know because I had a let's I actually did a let's play of this uh, yeah I guess I guess it is Dark Wolf for some reason I felt like it was called something else yeah I should I made a let, let's play of this on my channel uh, some time ago very good game I like this game okay darts game another darts game another darts game yet another darts game Darwin's Arena. I think uh, I think Gemini featured this on Shovelware Diggers a long time ago. Uh, it's not a not a very good game. <laughs> not much to it. Oh yes, of course, Dangerous Dave. Go through the door. Double cross. Don't know some kind of puzzle game, I guess. Another screenshot of the same thing. D blocks. Okay, another Tetris knockoff. Like j just imagine there was a time when people would you know just make games like this and try to sell them. Imagine, imagine like paying money for this when there's Tetris, like like real Tetris with, anyway. Oh, Diamond Dash, obviously, uh, very obviously a clone of Load Runner, but a, but a good one. It's actually a very good game. DD Poke, okay, some kind of poker game, obviously. Defense. He had this license plate. It was weird. I have no idea what this is. Looks like it maybe a sports game. Defender. I mean, it's a DOS clone of Defender. D quoter. Oh, this is a, I think it's another cipher solving thing. Looks like. Oh, this is um, Dracula in London, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, kind of cool. Kind of like a. This is an interesting attempt to adapt the Dracula story to a computer game. Kind of. Okay. Okay, Desert Raid from Scunny again. Different screenshot of the same game that we've seen before. No idea. Desert Co. Obviously, I mean, war-themed game. I've not played it. Destroyer for Windows. Obviously, a battleship game. Oh, I've, I've actually I've actually played this. Uh, it's not on the CD, but I remember. F uh, yeah, Diana Lee or something. Yeah, it's, I think it's called Diana Lee. L E E. Um, it's like it's literally just a platformer that a guy made about his wife. Like the the woman in the game is modeled after his wife, and he just says, "Hey, I'll just." Take, just make a quick sort of pixely sprite that looks like you and put in a game. And she was like, okay. And they made a game and it was this. It's not, not very good. Digital Down, some kind of horse betting game or something. I think I remember seeing this mentioned in like an old classified ad in Compute Magazine like more than 25 years ago. <laughs> Another picture of Diana Lee. Diana Lell. D Dina Lell. Uh, discard, okay. Discarding cards, I guess. Mm, okay, obviously a baseball game. Looks like a children's game. Hey, it's Cyber Dogs. Yes, classic. Very, uh, very classic indeed. Dominate, okay. Yes, I'm into that. Door. Uh, this is obviously a very... This is obviously a very poor, um... Screenshot of Ken's Labyrinth. Dots. Dots. Dots enough. Uh, no, double match. Double link. Oh, I see a um, Dr. Mario clone. Dungeons. <laughs> I've not seen this. It's obviously some kind of first person RPG like Dungeon Master or whatever. Do War. Declaration of War. Looks a bit like. Uh, I don't know. Looks like pretty much like any. Strategy war game. DPLP. Double penetration on vinyl. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. I'm, actually, I'm trying to think what could this be. It's not bridge, is it? I mean, no, it's. I don't. I have no idea. Don't, I don't know what card game that is. Dr um, okay. Dragon. Looks kind of like that adventure game for the Atari 2600, except obviously it is not. <laughs> Obviously, this is the same game. Drag City, uh, a very limited sort of game, like very, very uh, extremely simplistic game. This game is fun for maybe like 10 seconds if you're lucky. Okay, looks like another Worms or Tron kind of game. Dragon's Shard. 
have no idea. I haven't played that. Uh, Dungeons of Draculaur. I've played this. It's a very um, yeah. It's kind kind of like it's kind of like NetHack, except it's not procedurally. Gen well, no, NetHack might be giving it too much credit. It's it's not procedurally generated. It's just kind of yeah. I mean, it's a game where you just walk around, you push stuff around, you attack monsters and things, and try to avoid traps. I mean, yeah. Droughts, which is uh, another name for checkers. Drive-in. Ooh, Bob's Drive-in. I've played this. It looks good, but it it's not mu it's not much fun as a game. It's it's not a very good game. It just it looks nice. I like the I like the environment because you know how many games do you play at the drive-in? I guess there's Street Rod, but you don't you don't really play Street Rod at the drive-in. You play it. Yeah. Okay. Drums. Okay. Drum blaster. I guess. Okay. I think this is not a game. It's just like a drum thing. D S idea. <laughs> Arg splurg. That's like that narration at the bottom. Arg splurg. I have no idea. I've not. I've never seen this game. D sign. Okay. Uh, this is actually Milborn from uh, Tegel again from T E G L. This is actually a good. Uh, it's actually a good computerization of Milborn, which is a card game which I sometimes played when I was a kid. Oh yeah, Duck Hunt for Windows. It's Duck Hunt, except it's for Windows, obviously. Dungeon something? I don't know. I haven't seen this game. Earthy? Earthy? Earthling? I don't know. I haven't seen this either. Eat it, baby! Obviously Pac-Man. What? Echnicute? Okay, I have no idea. Can't quite read the the name of the game in the title, but they're Concord. I have no idea. Eco, okay. Something to do with ecology. Eco points. Parham has eco points at the bottom there. Something to do with the forest. Ed Chess. This is obviously a text mode chess game. EGA Int. Egaint. That Egaint, true. More Egaint. I mean, it looks like Tetris. I'm struggling to imagine how it could be different from Tetris, or how it might be different from Tetris. EGA MP. Oh, Flying Mouse Software. EGA Mouse Paint. Okay, it's another coloring book kind of game. It's not a not really a game. EGA Roids. Yes, I mean it's a decent Asteroids clone. There's not much to it. I played it. EJ Solitaire. Okay. Electronic Aggravation. Okay, oh, it looks like a board game. EGA Golf. Yes, nice. Golf. I like I like golf. Oh, this is um, what's it called? Engineering Jones and something about DSP. It's like a, it's actually a game released by an engineering like an uh, an electronics company about DSP chips to, or to advertise their DSP chips. I uh, I didn't make much sense of this game. Like even I, who studied electrical engineering, I didn't really make much sense of this game. But then I didn't try very hard, if I'm perfectly honest. Oh, Electroman uh, or um, Electrobody, as it was also known, uh, Polish platform game about being in an electro body. Yes. Yeah, Electro Man. Uh, this was this actually looks like a really good game. I always see this screenshot and I think, wow, this looks like a game that I'd actually like to play. It looks fun. I've never played this, but I mean the title's right there. It's Elevator from WordWorks Software by David Bayless. I should really look this up. I should really look this up sometime and play it because it, it looks fun. It looks like something I'd like to play. Elm. Okay, is that just Tetris? Looks like it. Elvis. Oh, I think I've, yeah. Windows Elvis in space. I think I've played this. Uh, it's not. It's not that good. It's not really worthy of Elvis's name, in my opinion. Entombed. No idea. Yeah, not a clue. Could be anything. Oh, Morafs and Trap. Yeah, it's another Morafs game. Uh, Epic Pinball. I mean, this is the Android table, which was the share shareware pinball table from Epic Pinball, of course. Euchre. You see, obviously, this is, yeah, Euchre. Oh, and this is a better, uh, a, a slightly better Euchre game. I think when I was a kid, I would actually pull up the screenshot just because, um, yeah, okay, let's, let's move on. Uh, Evolve. Okay, I really can't tell what's going on here. It's just some very small dots. It looks like some kind of... I think this is kind of like the Game of Life, except modified. It's like an evolution of the Game of Life. No pun intended. 
Oh, <clears throat> this is, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Uh, Executioners, I remember this from Bloodlust, from Bloodlust Software, very bloody sort of fight game. Not a very good game in my opinion, like the whole selling point was that it was supposed to be very bloody. I guess it was for its time, but it's more like just, yeah, it's not that fun of a game. F-18, no fly zone, yeah, it's like a, like a not very good sort of afterburner kind of clone for Windows, I guess. Face make, okay. Face maker. Fallout, unfortunately not the Fallout RPG, but uh, what looks like a, another Columns clone. FB, oh, football probably. Probably not Facebook. FBI Fred, I still, I'm still very fond of this game. This is such a terrible game. Like it's, this game is so bad, uh, but I'm just fond of it because it just looks so nice and like the environment is really cool. It's just the controls are, are absolutely horrible. It's like among the worst controls I think I've ever seen in any DOS game, and that's saying a lot. But it's just, it's just, it looks so cool, and it's, it's so much fun, even though it's, it's so little fun to play. Like it's, it's weird. I don't know. I, I have, I have weird feelings about this game. I like, I like the game, but I hate the game. Feels. Feels good, man. Wait, no. Space Fleet, I think it's supposed to be, or something like that. Or Space Fleas, it looks like. But somebody wrote Feels for the file name. Fence. Oh, this is this is green. Yeah, this is green from that same company that made that tower game we saw previously. FFD. Fantasy Football Draft. Couch Coach Fantasy Football Draft Setup Sample. Yes. FFFD. No idea, but, but it looks like a solo software game. Oh, Fairy God Mom. This, this is a great game. This is actually a, uh, quite a nice game. This game was actually mentioned in the uh, in the in-game text for Wolfenstein 3D. Somebody actually mentioned this game and said, hey, check out Fairy God Mom. It's a, okay, the file name here says Fairy God Mom, as if it's a Jamaican game, but no, it's God Mom, like mother. Ficked. No idea. Fiddle, also no idea. Fintress, oh, I've played this. It's a Finnish Tetris clone. It's annoying because it keeps advertising and saying, register the game. A, a good game is worth registering, don't you think? And I was like, yeah, that's why I'm not going to register this one. Floatris, okay. Another Tetris kind of thing. Flux, okay. Mm, d thanks, I needed that. I don't know, I, I don't think I've played this. Oh, uh, this is always called flying. This is obviously um, uh, uh, Joust. Yes, Joust, which was popular in uh, you know, arcades and on the NES and things like that. It uh, had a DOS port as well from, yeah. Friday Night Poker Game, another football game, another football game, Forzy. Is that like Yahtzee? I don't think it is. I don't know. Frack, oh yeah. Another 3D Tetris game with a uh, mandrel fractal for the, just for window dressing around the finger. This is the same game, obviously. Free Cell, hey, uh, I'm a Free Cell player. Frox, I think this is something F Rocks. Perhaps someone was not fond of Rocks. Frog, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's Leaper. Yeah, this game is called Leaper. It's I mean, it is a Frogger clone, but it's called Leaper, and this is actually the VGA version, so it's Leaper VGA. And this is uh, this might be Leaper non VGA version. I don't know. Or maybe it's a different Frogger clone. I mean, it's obviously some kind of Frogger clone. I don't know if that's Leaper or what. Don't know what this is. FS Four Seasons. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, Faro Car. This is like I think this is also a French game. It's like it's it's another Sokoban clone. Yeah, this is. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is Sokoban clone. I played this. It's not. I mean, it's a, it's a puzzle game. Sokoban. Uh, fun. Okay. For some reason, Parham entered his name as FF this time instead of Parham. Okay. What category FF? I don't know. Footer. Oh, this is. Uh, isn't this Reaping the Dungeon? I think this is Reaping the Dungeon. The file name says Futur, but it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Reaping the Dungeon. It's, it's another one of these kind of net hack kind of sort of things. Galact, yeah, like Galactus or Galag or whatever, yeah. Galaxy, like, yeah, another one of these types of games. I mean, these games are everywhere. Cubulus. 
like like they just called this one game. It says it, it shows you the name of the game in the upper left, but the person who made the screenshot was like, oh, I don't know what this is called. I'll just, I'll just call it game. I'll just save the screenshot as game zero one because I, I I've got no clue. Gaps. Gate W S. Oh yeah, the uh, Gate World. Uh, like another sort of. Yeah, it's it's. I think Gemini's featured this as well. I I like the music from this game. The music from this game is really really weird. Everything else about it's kind of meh. Like it's just an average DOS platformer, kind of like Cosmos Cosmic Adventure and whatever from that time era. Galactic Battle. Yeah, I mean it's another one of these. Yeah, one of these games. G Chins. I mean this is um this is small Mahjong Solitaire. From Nels Anderson, yeah. Once again, G Chins. Well, why, why do they? I guess it's Chinese something, but yeah, this is yeah, this is Mahjong Solitaire from Tegel, T E G L. Gemini Two. Okay, no idea. Don't know. I mean, looks like the game is called Gemini Two, but I don't know what it's about. Gems. Okay, it looks like Reversi. I don't know. GFFPC. Uh, this looks like French fries and hamburgers are coming down to invade Earth from the sky. Aliens. Yeah, these are like alien uh, hamburgers and French fries. So I guess it's like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I don't know. Gin Rummy. Okay, card game. Globe, Globe Wars, I guess. Looks like. I'm going to guess this is also solo software. Gobman. Ooh, I've played this. This is actually really nice. I mean, it's obviously Pac-Man, but it has a few twists. Like, there are bombs that you can use to bomb the ghosts. It's it's Pac-Man with a couple of nice twists. I remember enjoying this one. This, is, this one was fun. Gopher. Okay, some kind of gopher shooting game. I've not played this. Goldunt. Ooh, are you looking for some gold, mister? You want to go on a goldunt? Aye. Golf, again, the same golf game that we've seen a couple of times already. Another golf game. It's a great menu there, it really shows off the game. This is that same golf game again. Gotcha, yeah, I mean, this is like, uh, oh, what's what's it called? I mean, it's it's exactly what it looks like. I mean, there's like, it's, I forget the original name because I was never into this game, uh, but it's, it's like some arcade classic game where you just have to Capture the rectangles while you uh, avoid getting hit by that. Yeah, it's it's that game. Uh, Gravitar. Oh, Gravitar. I guess like a yeah. Remember that. This appears to be a not particularly good clone of it, but uh, it's a good game. Grav. Yeah. Gra um. Is this Orby? Orby. I want to say this is O R B Y. I might be wrong. I don't know. Greedy. Okay. I feel the need for greedy. Oh, and here we go. Once again, we have green. So yeah, this is green. I mean, I've played it a few times. It's kind of it's kind of fun. It's, it's, it has a very original premise, I would say, uh, but that doesn't necessarily make it a great game. It's it's a interesting game. Grindly, the mother of all card games. Okay, so it's like I have no idea. Grimlore, don't know. I've not played this or seen it. Grin, uh, Ground Wars. Have I played this? No, I don't think I have. No, I'm confusing it with some other similar looking game. Looks all right. More Ground Wars, I guess. Grot. Oh, yeah. Um, some financial investment simulation game thing. Green, again. Oh, this is, uh, what is it? It's the, it's, it's, um, it's another Galaxian clone from some from a well-known publisher. Is this, from, is this from Epic Mega Games or is it from MVP Software or something? It's 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 fairly well known. I've seen this a few times. Hammer. Oh, Star Hammer. Uh, it's actually a good game. I like Star Hammer. It's uh, it's kind of like Wingman, except it's it's like top-down third-person Wing Commander. It's not bad, sort of. I mean, maybe that's giving it a little too much credit, but it's it's all right. Star Hammer, cool game. I like it. Okay, obviously, obviously Hangman. Trying to guess what that word might be, but uh, no, let's let's move on. Okay, another hangman game. Another hangman game. Harpoon. Oh, hey, it's it's harpoon. Looking at uh, Iceland and the rest of Scandinavia there. Okay, 
cool. All right. Heart light. Yeah, this was a. Uh, this was a. Looks like the screenshot is upside down. Yeah, I think. Was, I think they. <laughs> I think they flipped the screenshot for some reason. But yeah, it's it's. Uh, this is a game called Heart Light, which. Um, yeah, I think it's just a Boulder Dash clone. Hearts. Okay, card game. Helios. Oh yeah, this is that weird game that was supposedly made by aliens, except it really wasn't, obviously. But it, the developer claimed it was made by aliens. Elevators from Hell. I made a video about this game. I found it very difficult, and then somebody solved it in like five minutes and made a video of them winning it. I don't know. I, I never won this game. I just can't. I, I, I don't have the, the mentality to required to win this game. I don't know why. Here they come. Another space shooter, I guess. Hero. Oh, yeah. Hero's Heart. Another uh, game like this. Yeah. I mean, it's an all right game. Hexapuzz. Hexapuzzle? Hexa Ring? Hexa King? I don't know. Hextris. Oh, yes, yes, it is Hextris. It's hexadecimal Tetris. I don't know, this one always seemed weird to me. Halloween Harry, again, also known as Alien Carnage. Hey, it's Hugo's House of Horrors, one of very few real... Um, I, this this is this was always the premier sort of shareware uh, Sierra-style adventure games. If you, if you really love Sierra Adventures and you want a shareware version of them, then you play the Hugo House of Horrors trilogy. Very good games. This is the first one. Maybe we'll see the other ones later. Hide and seek. I don't know what this is. Like some kind of. Oh, I guess it's, I guess it's a word search. High low. Looks like it's a high low game. Hangman Junior. Okay. Oh, it's Hocus Pocus. Of course it is. It's a classic apogee platformer. More Hocus Pocus. Oh, it's Hoosier City. Yeah, this game is really weird. It's very difficult. It's, it's extremely frustrating, but I like this game. I have a soft spot in my heart for this game just because it's it's so crazy. Like it's so badly done, but it's so creative. You know, it's like it's it's like it's a game made by somebody who's never played a game in their life and has no idea how games are supposed to work. So it's it's fun. Like it's it's actually well, it's not fun. It's it's not fun to play, but it's like it's it, it's like FBI Fred. It's it's so aggravating to play, but it's just so creative and so interesting. And it's just like yeah, it's like it's it's irresistible even though it's so bad. Hop, Horm, okay, Horus, that's not nice, don't call somebody a Horus. Here we go, here's, okay, they spell it Hugo too. Oh, Hugo, I think you need to go to your room now, sir. Uh, it's, it's Hugo's House of Horrors 2, or Hugo 2, who done it. Great game, I, had a, I, I made a let's play of this. Humbug. Yes, Graham Cooley's uh, magnum opus. This is—it's just a text adventure, but it's a—it's gr probably the best text adventure in the world. I feel like text adventures. You should play. You should play this one. It's—it's it's great. Definitely. Hercule. Don't know. Hercule. Her oh, it's um, yeah, it's called Hurricane. It's a Tempest clone. I remember this. I don't think I've played it, but it's—it's. It's, uh, or maybe I did. Maybe I played it once, and it's like yeah, it's, it's Tempest. Hyperoid, no idea, maybe like another Asteroids clone. Icy Metal, uh, no idea, don't know. Idiot's Delight Solitaire, IGB. I Go, uh, okay, obviously it's the game, classic game, Go. Uh. I don't know. I mean, it's like Duke Nukem and Sigourney Weaver and and someone else and Conan O'Brien are in a team to target the enemy targets. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Inter okay, obviously a Space Invaders clone. Spa ah, Space Intruders. See, see that? Space Intruders. Very clever. Okay, this is a more straightforward Space Invaders. What? Oh, is this like Invasion of the Mutant Bats of Doom again? I don't know. Invbat, but it's just like some strange fractal pattern. Invisible Maze. Okay, I guess that tells you all you need to know. I don't know why this is called IQ. This is uh, Jump Jet. Yeah, the game's called Jump Jet. I actually really like this game. It's a pretty pretty cool game. Oh, it's uh, 
file name is IQ Puzzle. Yeah, I guess the game's called IQ Puzzle. It's another one of those sliding block games where you have to get the big block at the bottom out through the exit at the top. I think I think that's the that's the goal if I remember right. Oh, Islands of Danger. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this game. I don't really like the game. I think it's kind of it's kind of a gimmicky game, but um, it's it's kind of fun to play. I mean, I have to admit it. It is it is fun to play, and I guess that's the ultimate test of whether a game is good or not. Do you enjoy playing it? Isle Wars by William Solo again. Solo Software. Jai Alai. Okay. Right, yeah. Sure. Yes, of course. It's. I don't know why they say Jane. Why did they call the file Jane? But yeah, this is obviously Jill of the Jungle. I mean, it's very obvious. Yes, Jazz Jackrabbit. Possibly the... I mean, this is probably the, the greatest platformer ever made for DOS. So, you know, what can you say? I mean, it's, it's Jazz Jackrabbit. Everybody knows Jazz Jackrabbit. Jelly. Oh, it's the Jelly Bean Factory. Like another Columns clone. Jetpack. I mean, we, it's a jetpack game. Jewel Master, I guess, looks like another Columns clone. Okay, looks like the same game again. Uh, jigsaw, okay, I guess a Jigsaw puzzle, if I'm going to take a guess. J Joker, v um, oh, it's it's Poker. Okay, Poker. Jumpman, yes, Jumpman lives. Okay, another sliding block game. Featuring a picture of Bart Simpson stating that he is an underachiever and proud of it, man. Juggle. So I've not played this uh, or seen it, but it's obviously, I mean, it's called, I guess it's called Juggler, judging by the title on the left there. And it's it seems like it's very obviously a game about juggling, which is kind of a novel concept. I just, I'd be curious to play this and just see how it plays. I'm guessing it doesn't play very well. I can't imagine that there would be a good a way to make a good user interface for a juggling game, but I'd be curious to see what they did with this. Maybe it uh, maybe it turned out not too bad. <laughs> yeah, see, this is, I mean, this is very obviously Commander Keen, uh, but they called it Jump Boy, because they weren't, I guess somebody didn't know what game it is, so it's just Jump Boy. It's a boy jumping. Why not? And it, this is called Jump Jet, which uh, is very clearly wrong. This is, um... Um... I forget this, the name of this game. I, ha I haven't played this. There, there's a video. I think I think LGR. I want to say LGR made a video of this. Was it LGR or was it someone else? I don't know. It's like some Knights of the Realm or whatever it's called, something like that. It's a, it's a strategy game about Britain. Jungle Jack by William Solo. Yes, yeah, like another sort of pipe dream kind of game. Oh, oh, I've seen this. Uh, this is like some really, really weird, like Russian-made puzzle game. I never figured it out. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I like how the file is, is Kalash, like, almost like it's a Kalashnikov or something, but uh, no, I, I don't think it's supposed to be Kalashnikov. It's some, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not good with this game. Yeah, okay. Keen Dreams, obviously. Keen, the, the, the first Commander Keen game. Kino, which is, you know, a game. Kino, again. Kid Key, which is, this is not a game, this is like you just press a key on the keyboard and things happen. So like in this case, the child presses a key and some satanic symbol shows up showing how you... Okay. Oh, Kilo Blaster from um, um, Epic Mega Games. Yeah, I mean, it's another vertical scrolling shooter. Uh, this is Kingdom of Craws, yes, uh, which was kind of like, kind of like ZZT, I guess. I mean, similar. Clocks with a K, okay. Klondike Solitaire, yes. More Klondike Solitaire. The file name is Klotz, K-L-O-T-Z or Z. Uh, it looks like another Tetris game. Ah, Kosinka. I like this game. Uh, this is just Klondike Solitaire, but it's played with two decks. So instead of the usual, I guess, 52 cards in a normal deck, you play with 104 cards. So you just have, you just do like Klondike Solitaire, but twice. So you have Two, so instead of the usual four stacks, you have eight stacks because you make eight different stacks of ace to king. Yeah, it, it's it's just that. It's just Klonix Solitaire played with two decks, but it's actually really good. And I think Kosinka is... It, it, I, this game is actually from the Soviet Union. It's, it's actually a Soviet game, and it was... Um, I think Kosinka is like the Russian word for a type of scarf, and it's just the, the name of the game. Anyway, okay. Crypto... Cryptograms, another cipher-solving game. 
Ladderman from Solo Software. Yeah. Solo Software was very prolific in their puzzle games. Ooh, Lamers. I like this game. I've I've made I've I've featured this on my channel. I've, I have a video of, of me playing through this. It's a I mean it's a it's a silly little clone of Lemmings, which doesn't take very long to get through, but I like it. I like this game. Laser Trace, okay. Uh, look, oh, it's like one of these games where you bounce lasers around with mirrors. I always like this. I've always liked this premise of having like you know bouncing around lasers with mirrors and trying to hit targets with mirrors. When I was a kid, I actually had a concept of a game like this before I'd ever seen such a game. I thought in my head, it wouldn't be cool if you had like a laser and you could you could aim the laser around with mirrors and try to hit targets with it. I'd never seen a game like that, but there are actually there are a few games like that. I just haven't seen them. I, I just independently came up with the concept when I was a child. I thought that would be fun, and it is. Oh, the last half of darkness. Yes, a um, point-and-click style adventure um, in in the style of the old ICOM adventures. Like, uh, like I guess Uninvited is the most obvious influence here. Uninvited is a horror game with a similar influence. Just and this is also a horror game with the with a user interface like that. Hey, it's Late Blight. This is the game that I took my um, took my um, username from several years ago and uh, I think I made a video of the game as well but in case you missed that this is this is the game it's it's not a game it, it just draws graphs of potato growths and that's the program lava caps uh, I have no idea I mean I guess it's lava caps oh, oh it's, it looks like it's from solo software again I'm guessing it probably is laser chess nice I've actually not played this but I've, I've heard good things supposedly it's fun Laser light, yes, yeah. Laser light. This is like this is probably the best laser bouncing game that uh, that there is. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a fun game. Bitmap Brothers, isn't it? I think this is from Bitmap Brothers. Yeah, it's a it's a fun game. I like the music too. I remember the music on this was really awesome. Okay, once again, Leaper. This is the EGA or no? Uh, I guess probably CGA. I guess, oh, okay. I had, yeah, I saw these colors earlier and I said this was too many colors for CGA, but actually, no, I guess it is CGA. <laughs> I am shamefully unfamiliar with the CGA color palette. It's kind of embarrassing. I bring dishonor to my family. Lexicross. This is a commercial game from Interplay. It's actually, it's it's pretty cool. It's it's styled to look like, like a TV game show, but it's not based on any existing TV game show. It's an original game. Pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's it's fun. It's nice. If you've not seen it, check it out. It's it's cool. I like it. It's it's all right. It's fun. Line Wars. Okay, this is another Tron type of game. Don't know. Uh, Link Four. Okay, so like Connect Four instead of okay, except it's Link Four. Line Drive Fantasy Baseball. Okay. <laughs> the Lost Trail. Once again, get the big red block to exit the bottom. There are a lot of games that make. Uh, that kind of play on this premise, obviously. Oh, Lost J, uh, Lost in the Jungle. It, it's yeah, it's um, except it's not called Lost in the Jungle. It's called Jungle of Doom. This is this is the third and final Hugo game in the Hugo trilogy. So it's Hugo Three Jungle of Doom. It's not Lost J, Lost in the Jungle or anything. It's nothing like that. Lot F. Yes, I've got a lot of F. No, it's, it, this looks like Defender, except it's some Defender clone, I guess. I've not actually played this. Oh, Love Manager. Yes, I made a video about this. Pretty fun game. This is a pretty unique game. I like this game. Yeah, I made a video of it. Love Manager. Good game. I like it. I, I approve. This was also made by someone from the Soviet Union just before they emigrated to the U.S. And so the, the author of this game actually posted on my video, but instead said, you, you, must, ex uh, you must excuse my, um, my uninformed notions of American love life, uh, how I imagined... Americans love lives to function when I was still living in the Soviet Union. But I love I love this game. It's 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 very unique. Like it's it's not the kind of game you'd play for hours and hours, but it's it's very unique and it's it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. I like it. Lowball. No idea. Lucas's problem. Okay, Lucas has a lot of problems, I guess. Oh, it's wait, no, it's not, is it? Or is it? Is this Mad Dog Williams in the Dungeons of Deridian or whatever it's called? I don't think it is, but maybe it is. Huh. Don't know. Magic. Oh. It's a uh, Kung Fu Louie versus the Martial Arts Posse. I've, I've, I featured this when I was going through a uh, shovelware CD some time ago, some years ago. Man Gun. This is very obviously the, the first Duke Nukem game, but they didn't know it was Duke Nukem, so they just said, hey, Man Gun. That's a good file name. 
map. Yes. What game is this? I think this is solo software. We, we've seen this game before. Marbell. Oh, it's the original. Uh, well, not not the not the original original. It's like a it's like a it's like a knockoff of the first Mario Brothers game, which was not very good. Super Mario Brothers was, of course, way better because it was super. Another mastermind for Windows. Well, if you think there are already too many of them, then why'd you make another one? Another mastermind for no, this one. Looks like it's for DOS. Graph match. Match them. Match them again. Math maze. Instead, okay, it's obviously called math maze. <laughs> The, the the text compression in the screenshot makes it look a little bit like it says math Nazi, but no, it's it's math maze. But they they called it math naze and <laughs> okay. Oh, this is math rescue from Avagee. Eh, it's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, I, I actually, I'm, I there. This was on an April Fool's video together with Hotline Miami that I made some years ago. I remember that. That was kind of silly. Matik. No idea. Oh, this is Megatron. Uh, it's a so it's not a great game, but this this was actually a game which let you play by modem. This was this was like a real novelty back in the day. You could call a friend uh, through the modem and play one on one through modem multiplayer. Like you know, w w try to kill each other. You're you're basically playing robots in this maze, and you can play against the computer. But the fun was supposed to be playing against a friend by modem. It's kind of cool. It's you know it's it's interesting that back in the day you could make games like this and it would actually be a thing. Yeah, call your friend on the modem and play play against each other by telephone line before. You know, before the internet was widespread and stuff like that back in the day, is this yeah, it's pretty cool. The graphics are not bad. I mean, the the, the selling points of the game were the graphics because the because the graphics are cool and the, the fact you play by modem. The gameplay itself is just it's very straightforward. You just find the other robot and then just shoot it, blow it up. Maze ball. Oh, it's oh, it's one of those labyrinth things where you roll the ball around very carefully and try to avoid it going into the holes. Maze maker. Wow, that looks. Wow, that looks messy. I have no idea what that's all about. Maze of the day. <laughs> this is obviously the same program. Maze Wars. Uh, okay. M Blast. <laughs> Why is it? This is X Fighter by David Bayliss from WordWorks Software. This is not M Blast. It's probably supposed to be Morafs Blast, but it's not Morafs Blast. It's a completely different game. Okay. I have no idea. MC. M Megan's matching game, okay. Memory <laughs> with Gumby and Hobbs. All right, that's. I mean, I guess. I guess if you're going to choose anything to make a memory game from, that's not necessarily a bad choice of tiles. And of course, the U.S. flag is also not bad. Memory tiles, another memory game. Men's. Oh, Bio Menace from Apogee. Yes, uh, decent shooter. I, uh, it's pretty difficult, but uh, it's fun. Oh yeah, Meteor, what is it called? Meteor something, Meteor Mission or something like that. Pretty good game. This is actually a really nice game. I like this game. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like Lunar Lander, but not exactly. Yeah, it's not really like Lunar Lander. It's like, it's, it's a little kind of original. Mick Bucks. Okay, obviously a slot machine game. Mice Moves by Solo Software. Parham is playing Mick Golf. I guess Micro Golf instead of Miniature Golf. It's Micro Golf because it's on a computer. Get it? Because microcomputer. Midnight oil. Do, 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 do. Out where the river broke. Okay, mind buster. Okay, mind cube. Mind two. Oh, this is uh, it's it's minesweeper again. Minefield, which is again, this is obviously also minesweeper. Oh, it's minor VGA. I like this game. Um, it's kind of. It's kind of a silly game. Like it's there's not really much to it. You just go down into the into the ground and mine and try to find uh, gold or silver or platinum. It's uh, kind of eh. it's a silly game, but I really like this game. I'm very fond of this game for some reason. I had a lot of fun with this. I just played I played this for a stupidly long time trying to trying to win. And and you can win and you can like have sex with the woman and it's uh, it's it doesn't really show anything. It's all text, but it's it's uh, something you can do. All right, Miser, okay, Miser Mind instead of Mastermind. Missile, okay, Missile Command. Mr. Mind, seriously, Mr. Mind. 
mix and match, okay. No, it's Mahjong VGA. No, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds. Well, it's not really Mahjong, it's, it's solitaire Mahjong, which is just like matching tiles as opposed to real Mahjong, which is a much more complex game. Mice Men, so we had Mice Moves, now we have Mice Men from Solo Software again. Are we mice or are we men? Or of mice and men? Are we not men? We are Devo. Oh yeah, mo Modem 3D. It's um, this is another game. It's kind of like the one that I mentioned previously. This is another game where it, it, there's not really much to it. You just kind of walk around in first-person perspective, and if you have a friend with a modem, you can play against them with the modem and try to shoot them over the modem. I mean, it's it's not much more than that. I mean, it's it's a cool-looking game, but the premise is just you play over the modem because it's modem 3D. Moku. Monopoly. Oh, this is—I believe this is also from from Tegel. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice Monopoly game, I guess. Moore's, Moore's pinball. Don't know. Mosaic. Okay, that looks like a mosaic. Yes, perhaps Bald and Bankrupt should be looking for it here. Mouse J. No idea. The picture doesn't really tell me much. It looks like it's a Tie Fighter, but I'm not sure judging by the little picture in the lower left, but otherwise the screenshot doesn't really tell you a whole lot. Uh, okay, this is... Uh, well, it's obviously a text adventure game. I have no idea what game this is. Just some very simple sort of text adventure game. Kind of like... It says, your faithful dog Rex is here. So it's... it. I was going to say it's kind of like a colossal cave game, but I guess it's not. It's probably some original game. Oh, it's Mystic Towers. Pretty cool game. Yeah, it's it gets kind of frustrating later on because it's because uh, the layouts of these places are really convoluted and yeah, but it's it's fun. I like that game. Murder. Okay, it looks like a very. Si this is obviously a Windows game that's very simple, but still, I, I would I'd like to play it. I'd be curious. How do you play murder? Do you just murder people and that's it? Is it like uh? Anyway, all right. Oh yes, yeah, Moraf's World. Of course, the flagship game from. Uh, people that make the Morafs games. MX7, which I believe is, is literally the name of the game. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a game about being in this grid and you pick up stuff and push things around and, yeah. Mines, I guess. Yeah, it's another Minesweeper clone. <laughs> Mystery, okay. The final name is called Mystery, but the game is obviously just called Bamboo. I guess it was a mystery to the person what the game was called because they... Oh, it's Nightmare 3D, uh, the sequel to the Hugo games, except it's, it's obviously a first-person shooter. It's, it's not very good. I don't like this game very much. Like, I don't think it's very good as a first-person shooter. I don't really get this game. It seems like... it. it I've, I've tried it a couple of times. It seems to me like it's not very good. Endlock, Quatris, okay. Once again, the game's called Quatris, but they called the file Endlock. Netris. Oh, um, it's not Newt like the animal Newt, but it's it's New Testament. Okay, this is the New Testament. I guess, I guess, obviously testing your knowledge of the order of the books of the New Testament. And guess, okay, guessing something. Yeah, that screenshot tells you a lot, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, night VGA. Okay, something happens at night. I guess that's the moon, the moon in a blood red sky for some reason, over the mountains. N N. Don't know. No crunch. Oh, number crunch. Oh yeah, this is this is what the the CD's uh, built-in browser would show you if there was no screenshot for the game. For a lot of the games, just had no screenshot, and so it would just show you this. So it's kind of funny. They they have screenshots for a lot of games that were not on the CD, and then a lot of CD a lot of games on the CD had no screenshot, so it would just show you this. None. BMP. Not Russ. Okay. I'm liking the the picture in the background. I mean, it looks like just it looks like just Tetris, but I'm liking the choice of background picture. It's very uh, very atmospheric. Knots, okay. Oh, um, NRD, um, Night Raid. It's called, isn't it? Yeah, Night Raid. It's like another paratrooper type game. Yeah, pretty cool game. Nukem, okay. Obviously a missile command clone. And this is Duke Nukem. It's Duke Nukem Two, obviously. Numlo. Numlog, not to be confused with Numlock, which is a key on your keyboard. 
Nuo. I know Kung Fu. Oh. Nuts. Oh, yeah, this is another. Uh, we saw this before. It was called the Aztec's Curse or something like that, but this is the same game. It's just you have these seven hexagons and you just have to rotate them until all the numbers line up with each other. I mean, the concept is simple, but it's actually quite hard to do. I, I spent like hours and hours trying to do it as a kid. And I eventually succeeded, but it was not easy. It was very difficult. And yet, yes, and yet three Revenge of the Mutant uh, Stones. This is, um, again, Ross of Accursed Farms uh, did a video of this on his uh, Ross's Game Dungeon. I highly recommend that video if you are interested in this game. It's it's actually a very good game. I have a cheat for it, which lets you cheat and win easily, but it's 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 actually very, very, very difficult if you play it legitimately. All right. Oh, Oak Flat Nuclear Power Nuclear Power Plant Simulator. I made a video of this many years ago on my channel. Good game. I really like this game. I think that more games should be realistic simulations like this, but some people do not agree with me. Imagine that. Oh my word. I guess guessing a word. Oil bar, oil baron or something? No idea. Oil cap looks like it's also from Solo Software. O line. I see some O's and I see some lines, but I don't know what's going on there. One must fall. This is this. Uh, so a lot of you will probably know one must fall. Twenty forty nine or whatever the the year in the title is, which is you know some robot one-on-one -on -one beat him up uh not beat him like like, like a fight game uh, but this was kind of the predecessor to that this is like a, a it's this is a very simple sort of prototype and it was just called one must fall and it's just just these two guys you got one guy in in a red gi and a one guy in a blue one and they just beat each other up and that's it like it's it's ultra simple there's no story or anything and i think this eventually became the game that we now know as one must fall the robot combat game orb Oh, is this orb, orb Wars or whatever it's called? It's like yeah, it's like some variation on Space War, like which was one of the very first electronic games on the PDP one, I think, or something like that. The Orion Odyssey. I like this game. It's 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 pretty cool. I think I've I've had this on some random video on my channel before. I like this game. I I, I suggest looking at it if it looks good. It, it looks good. It plays well. It's uh, a little frustrating sometimes, but still a good game. I like that game. Osmosis, Othello, more Othello, Oubli Oubliette, Bui from AB Data Sales. If I register a jambe, you can send money here and you'll get the register a jambe, Bui. Outland? Um, I have no idea. I, I, uh, it, it almost looks to me a bit like Yar's Revenge, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. I think this is, I have no idea what this is about. Outlaw 1997, which was actually copyright 1994. It's like a near future setting, I guess. I don't know, I, I haven't played this. Doesn't look familiar to me. Parcheesi, okay, that's what they called it. Okay, Pacheesi. Pac-mania, obviously Pac-man. Paint me. This is, oh, it's, this is once again EGA mouse paint from Flying Mouse Software. Parcute. <laughs> is, uh, yeah, Paratrooper Returns. Uh, and once again, you can see somebody's just like, painted on this with the black brush and paint brush and said, hey, look, I made a work of art. I drew like a line on this Parcute screenshot. Pat demo, uh, I guess Patriot missile demo, another missile missile command kind of thing, I'm gonna guess. Okay, obviously a baseball game. PC bingo. PC gammon, <laughs> backgammon. PC, oh, Went out too fast. PC Jigsaw, like, yeah, another Jigsaw mixing puzzle. This is also a game that I would, like, I would uh, run this. When I was a kid, I would sometimes just run this puzzle just to, uh, okay, I'm just going to move on. Uh, so PC Pool, okay, I'll see a pool game. Peg Solitaire. Um, well, I mean, yeah, pegging is nice, but it's, it's better when you don't do it as solitaire. It's better when you do it with someone else. Peg Out, okay. Pento, okay, like, yeah, Pentominoes. Pentomin, okay, Pentomino again. More Pentominoes. Perestroika, I played this game many years ago on my channel. It's, uh, 
as a as a game i don't know how much fun it is as a game but it's just kind of like an interesting sort of gamification of the process of perestroika which is the the rebuilding of of the post-soviet nations after the the end of the soviet union it's just it's an interesting sort of it's it's an interesting political allegory as a game i don't find it that great but concept is cool uh this really doesn't tell me anything at all like i i really I really cannot get it, gather any information from the screenshot. I have no idea what I'm even looking at. Is that a map? Is, is, I guess it's, I guess those are like land masses in water, but why is the water purple? I don't know. Oh, pickle, yeah, pickle wars, I think, or something similar to that. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, hmm. underrated uh, platformer, I would say. Okay, B17, another um, CGA pinball thing. Okay, once again, this is uh, the Android table from Epic Pinball. Obviously the same, this is the top part of the same thing. Uh, I believe this, yeah, classic card game. I believe it's called Pinochle, I want to say. Not Pinochle or something, but it's, it's called Pinochle, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Pipe Dream. Yeah, it's, it's Pipe Dream. Pirata, okay, don't know. More Parada? Still don't know. <laughs> Even more Parada? I still don't know. Sorry. Pirate. Okay. Mm, that's just like a Star Trek thing. Pirates. Okay. Mm. Pizcat. Pizcats. Uh, no, it's uh, again. Once again, it's not a cat. That's a squirrel. It's, it's Scunny the squirrel. This is Scunny and Save Our Pizzas. Pizza man, uh, this is this is avoid the noid. I, I like again. I, I like the presentation of this game. The game looks really cool. It looks very appealing, but it's not much fun to play. It's extremely frustrating to play, actually, which is too bad because it's it's actually a pretty cool looking game. Plix from Solo Software, Pod, some obviously some kind of puzzle game. This is not Pod, the racing game. Poker, okay, more poker. More poker. Poker Pat. Um, I really don't know. Somewhat reminds me of Beasley's Death Trap, but I, no, I don't think that's... No, it's not what this is. This is something completely different. I have no idea. Oh, this is... Um, this is Sharky's 3D Pool, isn't it? I think so. I might be wrong. Obviously, another pool game. Another pool game. Ports of Call. Some kind of strategy game. PPK. Walter PPK? I don't know. Prairie Dog Hunt for Windows. Okay. Which is about hunting prairie dogs and ones in windows. Oh, it's Protec. That's, this is that German uh, pinball game that's like, I mean, it's, it's a pinball game. It's like you play for to upgrade your CPU or something and get like faster PC or whatever. Yeah. P okay, actually, I actually don't know how to pronounce this. P P is it pugilistic wars? I have no idea. P pugilism is you know people hitting each other with fists. It's a fist fight. So the game is presumably about that. Puzz. Kind of puzzle game. Another kind of puzzle game. Puzzler, Pyramid. Yeah, I've played this. It's it's exactly what it looks like. It's it's the pyramid game. Quadralian. I've not. I haven't played this. Uh, looks like a puzzle game. Qu oh, Qu Quatra Command. Have I played this? I don't know. It, it's just, it's another one of these games. Like these games are so ubiquitous. So I, they all sort of blend together. Quenzar's Caverns. Okay, looks like a. Or yeah, it's an RPG. Of some kind, haven't played that. Oh, Quinta, this this was just featured on uh, on Shovelware Diggers recently, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. I mean, it it's kind of cool. It's it's like Connect Five, but with a bit of a twist, because you can also like capture the player's pieces, and usually you win by capturing more pieces than 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 the other, rather than by actually getting five in a row. I don't know. Quiz. What does this say? Uh, I don't know what it says. I can't read that. 
Ah, Raku Master from Solo Software. I don't, think, I don't think those eyes are part of the game. They're just there for, like, they, they're just there to, to look interesting. That you don't actually interact with them in the game. Rallies, JFK Airport. Answer, please. I have no idea. America is indeed the land of the automobile. All right. I don't know. Road Rally Trivia, I guess, is, yeah. Don't know. Unpile units, rapids, okay, some kind of war game. Chain reaction, yeah, puzzle game. I remember this. I didn't play it much. Oh, Red Baron. This is this is Sopwith. It's uh, Sopwith. It's a classic, uh, classic, and very good, uh, very very good little arcade game for uh, for DOS. Very good game. Highly recommended. And there are like sequels and remakes and things like that as well. It's just it's such a good game. Red Hook's Revenge. Yeah, I don't know much about this game. I think I remember. I think De Deceased Crab played this with Madame Luna back uh, back when they were still actively making videos. Uh, okay. I have no idea. I have the feeling that the, that the designer of this game just put his own face on the on the main character. But I have no idea what game this is. I haven't played it. Reversi. I mean, this came with. This came with Windows 3.0. It's it's Reversi or Othello. Ooh, in search of Doctor Riptide. This this is this is a top notch shareware game. This is a very very good uh, shareware uh, like action game. Loads of fun. Great presentation. The graphics, the the music, the sound, everything is just just absolute top shelf. Good stuff all around. I like this game. Okay, Risk. It's it's Risk. You know. The, Strategy war game. Oh, this is Risky Woods. Um, it's yeah, it's mm. it looks pretty cool. It, it's very difficult. Like I don't know, I, it's not really much fun. I, I found it too difficult to be much fun because you, you die very easily. But it's it's a good looking uh, platformer. Yeah, Risky Woods. Road War. No idea. I mean, I guess it's a road war. Robart. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, Robotron 2084. Robix, again from Solo Software. Rockford, something, no idea. This this looks, this looks like a Boulder Dash clone. I'm going to guess this is a Boulder Dash clone. That's probably what it is. Rotactics. Okay. Royal, Co Royal Cotillon. Oui, oui, c'est le Cotillon. Not to be confused with Cotillard, which is that French actress from, like, a bunch of movies. Okay, this is obviously the Rubik's Cube. Cubeless. <laughs> Once again, I, we, we saw this before, didn't we? Like, we had this game Cubeless, and the person making the screenshots just called it Game. Now they called it Run Me, because they couldn't be bothered to read this, the title and say, oh, it's called Cubeless. I should type that in. They just said, yeah, it's just, just call it Run Me. That'll work. Sailing. Oh. Hmm. I have not seen or played this game. And I have no idea what it's called or, or from whom it is. And I think if you just Google sailing or even like sailing DOS game or something, you might not find it. It looks like it might actually be an interesting game. I like the looks of this. Hmm. If anyone knows what game this is, please fill me in. Looks good. I like the looks of that. Oh, Sandstorm. Yeah, I, I think I had this uh, on a previous shovelware video. It's it's a... Uh, hmm. It's a, it's a passable shooter based on the 1991 Gulf War. Like it's a it's a kind of fun game. It's not, not a great game, but it's it's fun. It has some nice moments. San Diego, Belmont's at the beach. San Diego's finest oceanfront dining. The San Diego. Opoly, Opoly, Opoly game. Oh, I get it. It's Monopoly, except situated entirely in San Diego. Okay. Well, that seems fair enough. I mean, San Diego is a lovely city. Have a Monopoly game in San Diego. I, eh, nothing wrong with that. No objection. No objections from me. Sangho. It's a uh, Sango fighter. It's a uh, Chinese-themed um, fight game with a with a plot and everything. And it had a sequel. There's a, there's a Sango fighter too. Uh, not a bad game as far as PC fight. I mean, at least back in the day, it was decent as far as fight games go. But uh, it's not. It's not excellent. It's, it's not an excellent game. It's just it's a it's a passable fight game. Battleship. S blocks. Oh, super blocks. Again, looks just just looks like Tetris. Here we go. Good luck. I don't know. It looks like just Tetris to me. 
guess brain, I guess super brain. Yeah, I mean, mastermind, <laughs> scat. Um, they probably meant space cat with that, but again, I think this is like the third time I'm saying it. That's not a cat, that's Scunny the Squirrel. And this is the same game we saw before. It's it's like Lost in Space, or whatever. It's like a Copysoft's remake of Moon Patrol. I didn't like it very much, by the way. Too difficult. Found it wasn't much fun, but that's just my opinion. Search and Destroy. I was another battleship game. Ah, yes, Scorched Earth. I made a video about this. Uh, this is, I mean, it's a great game. What can you say? It's it's Scorched Earth. Watch my other video of it if you're interested. It's uh, it's it's a, or better yet, play it yourself. Such a great game. Okay, more Scorched Earth. I mean, okay, you can never have you can never have too much Scorched Earth. So yeah, Scorched Earth, more Scorched Earth. Scrabble. Okay. You want to play some Scrabble? You never heard tell of a boot. Okay. S scraps, but it's it's craps. It's it's uh, this is a, another craps game. Scuba. Oh, it's Sc Scuba Man's Revenge, whatever it's called, from uh, Alive Software. Yeah. Scud. Uh, Scud attack. Okay. More Scud Attack. I think this is a different game with the, with the same title. SDI, so like, okay, some... Another shooter like that. Sea Battle, okay. Is this another... Yeah, it's another Battleship game, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Sea Battle of... Okay, different kind of Sea Battle. No idea what this is. Sea Haven, Towers Solitaire, okay. Sea Run, okay. Don't know. Oh, it's Secret Agent. This is a great game, and the, uses the same engine as Crystal Caves or, or Crystal Caverns or whatever. It's it's. I, I like this game. I like this game better than Crystal Caverns. This is actually a really good game. I think this also just had a, had an HD remake, didn't it? This this was also just recently released in a, a remake version with like with music and and stuff like that. Like it's just all redone, and it's the same game except it looks better and it sounds better and it plays better or whatever. I don't know. Uh, this is, I've act I have actually played this. This is Stick Fighter. Yeah, it's Stick Fighter 2. Um, yeah, not, not the best fight, fight game, but I mean, it's one of very few fight games where stick figures fight. Superfly. Yeah, I've, I've featured this in a, in a shovelware video as well. It's, it's not very good. I don't, I don't like this game. I find it kind of stupid. Sheep. Sheep bend or sheep herd or something. Oh, wow. This is, um, so this is Everett Kayser's Sherlock, but it's a super early version of it. This is actually a really good puzzle game. I very much enjoy this game. I have wasted countless hours of, I shouldn't say wasted. I've, I've spent countless hours of my life playing this game. Um, but the versions, like the later versions, are more polished looking. This is a very, very early version of the game, I would say. Still, very good game. Highly recommend it. Shooting Gallery, okay. Yeah, I've played this game. It's, uh, I forget whom, whom it's from, but it's, uh, it's a, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's a shooter, shooting gallery game. Pretty cool game. Man, check out that Apple logo. Remember when Apple made that, that rainbow colored Apple logo? That was, that was back when Apple still made good computers and good products, good times, good memories. It's a shame that they, shame that they ruined everything. But uh, okay, and this is obviously the same game. Shut, shut the boxes. Press the function keys to shut the boxes. Sibco. You know, it's actually Sigbo. No idea. So, oh, this is the silencer. Yeah, I played this. It's uh. Uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Pengo, you know how in Pengo you have to crush the enemies between blocks? It's, it's kind of like that a little bit, sort of. Oh, this is Silicon City. I remember this. This is some kind of like, there's, there's like a whole plot and everything to this. It's some kind of strategy game. It's, it's not bad. It's, I played through this once. It's, uh, it's okay. It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Silmar, I have no idea. Never seen this. Silver Ball, yeah, um, basically like a follow-up to Epic Pinball. Pretty much the same game, just different pinball tables. Good game, I mean, good pinball. Simple 12 Solitaire, okay. 
Simtrek. Oh boy, this game is. Um, yeah, it's it's like a simulated first person Star Trek. It's it's not that good, but it's unique. Like it's definitely a very unique game. It's the only game it's the only game I know which really tries to do this. And that makes it interesting. It it, it has an interesting take on things, but it's kinda kinda strange. Oh, this is This is Slick Joe. Uh it's another Sierra style adventure game, but it it's really, really bad. This, this game is like it's. It tries to be a Sierra game, and I mean, it has the same sort of user interface as a Sierra adventure, but it's really, really very bad. Um, I think the version that's commonly circulated online actually has a virus, like it's infected with a virus or something like that. So I, I don't know if you even want to go looking. I wouldn't even recommend necessarily going looking for this game. Um, it's yeah it's not very good i played it and it's just it's it's really bad <laughs> ski okay another ski game tree massacre <laughs> just looking at the title on the left it's, it looks like it says tree massacre by mark dota um okay scun rose i know it says rose there's not a rose here as far as i know but yeah this is back to the forest by copy soft it's, it's yet another game with scunny the squirrel there were several uh, this is Sky Roads. I don't. Know, I don't know why the file name says Sky Rock. This is Sky Roads, but okay. I mean, good game. I love the music. That, like, there are a lot of nice things about this game, but for me, by far the best thing about this game is the music. The music is really, really good. The game itself is okay, but the music is a standout for me. Slam, of course, it's Slam, which is you know, it's a, it's an air hockey game from um, for Windows 3.1. Slan. Don't know what that is. Slide, okay, yeah. Slider, okay. All right. Sliding, sliding, block, picture, puzzle game. Okay, this is. A, okay, I mean, the game. You can see the game's called Slither by Brian Janison or Jameson. The screenshot really doesn't tell me anything. You have six yellow rectangles. Could be anything. Slot machine, okay. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. It's a slot machine, I guess. Snakes. Snakes in a game. Snake F. Snake Snake F. Another like Tron style game. Oh, Snarf. Yes, the complete Snarf classic from um, from the person who made Snarf. I, f I forget the name now. Um, I don't know why the file name says Soar because I'm pretty sure that this is yeah this is from Ancients One, the Death Watch. That was the title of this RPG. Fairly unremarkable first-person RPG. Like, I mean, it's it's a first-person RPG. There's, there are lots of these games. It's not bad, but it's not really a standout. So yeah, Sogo Band, another Sogo Band game. This one obviously for Windows. Sogo Ball, which is a variation on Sogo Band. I mean, it's the same idea. Just this one has a lot more sort of gimmicks and bells and whistles and variations in it. Oh, it's Solar Winds. Um, I kind of like this game. It's it's kind of like yeah, it has it, it's interesting. It has a story. It's like a it's like a space shooting fighting game, but it has an interesting plot in it. It's from Epic Mega Games, and it's pretty cool music. I like the music from this game. Epic, Epic Mega Games always had really cool music in their games. They had really good music in like Jill of the Jungle and Epic Pinball. They always had really good music. I, I like this game. It's pretty short, but it's good. I think this is the same game again. Solar Winds. Solitaire Golf, Soldiers, oh, this is Stratego, I guess, Solitaire, okay, Classic Klondike by CompuSoft, Solitile, Sorcery, Spectrum Sorcery, Sorry, okay, so this, is, this really is Sorry, this is literally just the board game Sorry, Space, okay, doesn't really tell me very much, but it looks like Sights Unseen, all right. Oh, this is um, Space Chase with Jason Storm. Um, I mean, it's a basic. It's it's another basic PC platformer. I must just remember the title screen music. When you run this game, it plays like the most awesome ad lib title screen music theme. It's like the it's like it's like the best. Uh, the rest of the game is like, yeah, it's it's a platformer. It's it's okay. It's not bad. Not a bad game. Nothing really remarkable. Nothing that. Space Flight Simulator. Um, 
I do not have this. And this actually looks really interesting. This looks like it might be actually, actually quite an interesting simulation. I should look for this one and, and try it sometime. This looks, this looks like it might be good. Or maybe it's not, who knows, just from appearances. It looks like, it looks interesting, at least. Space kill. Space dock radar reports incoming enemy. Space me? Space my? Mines? I don't know. <laughs> okay, spack ship, spaceship. Uh, this is Galaxy Trek, uh, which is also something that, that Gemini featured on Shovelware Diggers some time ago. This is a great game. I've actually been thinking of making a Let's Play of this game, but the problem is it's everything is so small. Like Everything in the game is just these tiny little figures. You couldn't really you wouldn't really be able to see much. I don't think it's very much fun to watch people play. It's probably more fun to play it yourself. This is a great game. And by the way, I, I have been looking. I have been looking for a long, long time for the full registered version of this game. I've tried contacting the author. I've tried contacting people who worked on the game. Um, I, I haven't f managed to find the author himself, but I've, I have actually reached people who have worked on the game and they said, yeah, I don't know where you could get a copy of the game now. That was so long ago, so I can't help you. Um, if anyone knows, if anyone has like the full version of this game or knows where you can get, get the full version, um, I would totally, I, I really want to know how the story ends. There's like, there's a whole story to this game and everything, and I, I want to know what happens after the shareware, you know, there's like this, this cliffhanger at the end of the shareware episode. I want to know how the game ends. If anyone has this game or, or knows where, where one can get it, please let me know. I would love to play Galaxy Trek all the way to the end. Anyway, uh, span it, okay, yeah, I mean, it's like a dots and lines thing spap um i guess like super it, it's paper airplanes this is a game that lets you fly a paper airplane it's not very good i've played it it basically relies on catching like warm updrafts of rising air it's uh it's not horrible it's it, i i didn't find it much fun but it's, it's it's an interesting premise there are not many games that let you fly paper airplanes so i guess it gets a point for originality or maybe some points for originality even. This is obviously Spear of Destiny, sequel to Wolfenstein 3D, Spider Solitaire, Spiders. I guess you catch the spiders in that pot at the bottom, and then you cook them and make a spider stew. I don't know. Spilot, S, S Pilot, no idea. Spinball, okay, Double Trouble, another CGA pinball engine game thing. Spin wall. This okay. This really reminds me of Frog Fractions too. This is exactly like that one screen from Frog Fractions too. It's probably not meant to be like this. It's pr it probably doesn't derive from this game, but this really looks like that in my in my opinion. Spitball. Okay, don't know. Spitwad Willie. Fairly well known game. I think, th think this was this was cloned and released under a different name, wasn't it? What was it called? There was, yeah, there was Spitwad Willy, and then there was, is it Jet Set Willy or something? Ah, oh, I forget the name now. There was like a, it was released under a different, similar name. I don't know. Anyway. Strategy Poker. Okay. Squares. Squirmer. Uh, okay, this is very obviously a centipede clone. Sretris, Sretris, okay. How many mutilations of Tetris do we need? S okay, space rocks, I guess asteroids probably. Oh, uh, okay, this okay, th this is Paganitsu. So we saw Chagunitsu before, this is Paganitsu. I have no idea why the file is called S roll, but yeah, this is Paganitsu. Pretty cool puzzle game. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's fun. I played it. Take me down to Paganitsu City, where the grass ain't green and the girls ain't pretty. Remember, I still remember that line from the game. Kind of, and I, I read that line in the game before I knew this song by Guns N' Roses. So yeah, kind of funny. SSD, which is not a single, uh, single, uh, not a solid state drive. It's a super showdown, apparently. S Spiral. Hmm, Stalker. Yeah, it's called Stalker, except it's not. Uh, it's not it's not the good style here uh, from Ukraine. It's just some cruddy, like weird DOS beat 'em up kind of shoot game thing, which is not very good. Oh, this is Star Hammer again. We st we saw Star Hammer before, and here it is again. Pretty good game. 
I I like this game actually. I'm fond of this game. Star Goose, yeah. Strange kind of game, but it's a, but a good game. This is, this is a good uh, good shooter for DOS. It's pretty pretty solid. Start, okay. Stacks looks like another um, columns clone. Stelcon, okay. More Stelcon. Stellar something, don't know. Stellar Explorer demo version, okay. I'll see. A I guess it. Yeah, it looks like a Star Trek game. As Tetris again. I think we just saw this. Stocks, stonks. Stock ticker. Stone M. Okay, don't know. No idea. Stones. Uh, I think this is yeah. It's just like some game that you play with aliens. Like you're a human playing against aliens. So it's kind of like. Some, I don't know what. Stop the bus. Some kind of game about something. Oh yeah, this is Space Chase again. Space Chase with Jason Storm. We saw this one before. Striker. Oh man, this, this game is great. This was, uh, oh, this is such a good game. Yeah, this game is great. Oh, it really is. It's like, it's, it's like Choplifter, kind of it's like a combination of Choplifter and something else. I don't know. It's it, oh, such a good game. I think this was one, I think one of the first games. I remember playing this on a PC in a store, like back in the day when you know when PCs were still 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 sold in stores. Like I went to a store and and they they had a PC running this game, and I was just I just played this for like two hours in the store. It was so good. This is Major Striker from Apogee. Pretty competent game. SC twenty five Sturmovic. Um, pretty good. Yeah. Eh. Decent um, flight simulator from I think from Electronic Arts or something like not necessarily. Yeah, it's not it's not like the best DOS flight sim, but it's it's okay. I mean, it was released in a demo version. It's it's passable. Sub sl something insurance subway. I have no idea. Tell Superman his glasses are ready. I have no idea. Super Max it. Uh, oh, this, this game is called SWAT M. I think it's just like one of those games where you just click on things as they pop up to, to SWAT them. It's like whack-a-mole or something. Pretty simple game. SWAT. Taipei. Oh yeah, I remember this. It's just a, yeah, it's just another solitaire mahjong game for Windows. Decent little game. Talking. Oh yeah, it's like Tommy's talking things or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Tamper, the game of high-impact business for shrewd investors. All right. Tangaroos. Tank War, once again, Tank Wars. Again, great game. Love that game. Taz. <laughs> oh, um, Tactical Battle Simulator. Yeah, I never got the hang of this game. I'm not smart enough for this game. Oh, this is uh, Traffic Department 2192 by Epic Mega Games. Um, yeah, this game has like a, like a whole huge plot with a bunch of dialogue. Like the, the game itself is not much, but it has like this this huge story, and there's like this this tough talking sort of cyberpunk plot that sounds like William Gibson wrote, and it's kind of it's, it's kind of not very good, but it's still interesting. Like it's again, it, it gets points for for trying. Like it, it really tries hard to be very cool in cyberpunk. Team Tris, okay. Team based Tetris. Teed off. Yes, obviously a golf game. Doesn't look like a particularly good golf game, but what do I know? Looks can be deceiving. Okay. Tetrin. No one's gonna guess what that's based on from the name. Text okay, this is yeah, okay. Textris. More text oh this is this is well tris, because it's in a well with the blocks floating on the water. T-Face, okay. Face Tricks, okay. Ooh, the Greens. I remember the green. Wow, I haven't played this in so long. Yeah, this is this, it's a, just a little miniature golf game for, like, Windows 3.1. Um, yeah, I think it's 3.0. It won't, I think it won't run on Windows 3.0, but it'll run on Windows 3.1. This is, it's very difficult. Like, you remember, this was very frustrating and difficult, but just such a charming 
sweet little miniature golf game. It's really, really cool. I really like that. Things. Okay. Think 3D. Wow, no idea. Uh, don't know. Okay, treasure math. Okay. Parham's playing a children's math game. Tiles and tribulations. Oh, woe is me. Talk, okay, very simple tile sliding tile puzzle game. Yes, the incredible machine. This might be my favorite game of all time, or it, it's certainly one of my favorite games of all time. The incredible machine. Great, great game. Just uh, oh man, so so good in every possible way. It's just it, it's an absolute winner. Best game. Tiny Jong. Oh, it's Morafs Tiny Jong. Okay, so it's oh, it's a Morafs Mahjong game for Windows. Nice. Tiny. Oh, Tiny Tapper. Kids tap the keys on the keyboard and stuff happens. Like a telephone pops up. Tobor. No idea. The Tomb. Okay. Don't know. Haven't played that. Tothello. Oh, it's Triple Othello. Okay. Very tricky. T ply, like triple ply toilet paper. I don't know. Well, well, it's like a dice game with the. I I. Oh 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 oh. It's it's Monopoly. Oh, I get it. It's Monopoly. Yes. Okay. Except it's T ply. It's topoly for people who like to be on top. Trap. Uh that. Wow. That looks. Pretty ugly. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Trek, oh, uh, Wind Trek, yes, a Star Trek game. Triv, okay, game of Trivia 2000, okay. Tron, okay, <laughs> not even trying to hide it anymore, that's just basically ripping off Tron. True, okay, Paratrooper, again, like a CGA version. The same game, obviously. T Trek, okay. Tubes. Oh yeah, this is, I remember this. This is a shareware game from like MVP Software, and I never. Um, I've seen this so many times, but I don't think I've ever played it. It doesn't look much fun to me, but I really should. I, I should play it before passing judgment on it. But I just never did. Tunnel, tunnels of Armageddon, I guess. Uh, Turbo. I actually have this game. I mean, it's it's literally nothing more than just switching lanes left and right to dodge the obstacles. Not much to it, but for some, some reason I like this game. I don't know why. This is such a simple, stupid game. Like there's nothing to it. Turoid, great, great breakout game. Uh, just really fantastic game all around. It has a lot of innovations, and the music is great. Um, yeah, if you like breakout games, highly, highly recommend this one. This is like one of the best breakout clones I've ever seen. Tyler, okay. Ultimate Blackjack, another one of these ultimate games. Ultimate Gin. Yeah, when I was a kid, I would sometimes run this game and just, uh, just be, well, okay, let's move on. Ultras. Ungaria. Does that have anything to do with Hungary? Because in German, Hungary is Ungarn, but I don't, I don't think so. Oh, it's a visual, uh, no, it's a VGA concentration from Alive Software. Vegas Pro, okay. VJ Wheel, obviously Wheel of Fortune. Video Poker for Windows, okay. Wolf, I don't know why they spell it with a V. Wolfenstein 3D, yeah, and it's obviously Wolfenstein. Oh, what a great game this was. Yeah, I remember featuring this at the end of the first Game Fest CD. Arcade Volleyball, such a good game. Such a simple game, but so much fun. I had so much fun with this game. Really good game, just, just, just fantastic. The physics are so real. Like what they did with the physics for a simple CJ DOS game is just incredible. Love this game. Uh, VGA Sharks from uh, again from Alive Software. V Trek. Yeah, I actually this game is on the game. Um, I believe it's on the Game Empire Two CD. It um, it has no information about who made it. Like there's no company copyright information. There's no author information or anything. It's just a just a straight up Star Trek game with no. Uh, information on how to buy it or register it or anything. It's just a, but it's a pretty cool game. It's actually a very good game. I like this game. I wish I knew who the creator was so I could thank him or her, but or them. But V Word. Okay, looks like a, 
I don't know, crossword puzzle maybe. Wall pipes from Solo Software. Again, it's like Pipe Dream. Warheads, okay, another Missile Command clone. War, ma war maps. Uh, this is, what is it called? I think it's called Sub Hunt or something like that. Um, pretty good game. I actually wanted to make a video on this game at one point in time. Maybe I will, I don't know. Uh, really good game about hunting subs. And I think it's made by somebody who actually used to work in the Navy, or at least in the in the military or something. So it's like somebody with a background in the in the field. Yeah, but it's based, it's kind of like battleships, except uh, battleship, except not exactly. Okay, speaking of battleships, warships. Wattor for Windows. Water Putter. Yeah, this, this is also on Game Empire 2, I think. It's a it's kind of strange puzzle game. Kind of fun, but kind of also kind of strange. Waxman, okay. I mean, it looks like chess. Oh, Vesp. Yeah, uh, this is a German puzzle game. I think I'm, yeah, I think I played this. Kind of, yeah, kind of, kind of strange game. W F. Mm, don't know. What's my number? Oh, this is just like lower, higher. I think. Woohoo! Um, no idea. Don't know. Willy. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is just a Boulder Dash clone. Yeah, this must be a Boulder Dash. Willy the Worm. Um, very simple sort of CGA platformer kind of game. I mean, it's eh, it runs way too fast. Like you need to slow it way, way down uh, to get it to run at a reasonable speed. But it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of it's a, it's okay. Okay, Win Chess. Windows Command, another Missile Command clone. Wingo, which is like bingo, except it's Wingo. Win Jack. Okay, these games are all starting with win now, so these are going to be Windows games. So Windows Poker, Windows Pool, Windows Risk, Win Shark, Win Slot, Win Sol, Win Trek, Win Trek again. I think it's a different Win Trek. 3D tic tac toe, win wheel, win Z. I guess this is the ot Z, except it's win Z. Wizard with two Z's or Z's. Another, like a, yeah, another CGA pinball engine game. Again, Wolfenstein 3D, Wheel of Luck. Uh, word, the file name is called Word Game. Word H. Word Hunt? I have no idea. Okay, this is Word Hunt. Ah, World Quest. Yeah, I think Gemini and I just recently played this as well. Uh, it's it's a shooter. I mean, it's it's okay. It's not bad. It's kind of fun. It's kind of limited. World Empire. Yeah, I think this is from the same company that made Heavy Water Jogger. It's it's a it's a Risk clone, basically. Wow, spell. Oh, it's yeah, it's it's Pipe Dream, again. Quato. Oh, this is Word Rescue from Apogee. Word Stock. World Empire. WSC. Don't know. WSC, don't know. I mean, well, okay, oh, okay, Word Search. It's short for Word Search. I get it, okay. Zaptron. Don't know. Zatax. Don't know. Xerix, yeah, I remember this game was made by some uh, teenager uh, in his spare time, uh, just as like a side project. I don't know how I don't know how successful this game was, but I remember the documentation saying, "Yeah, I'm just a, ju I'm just a, a young boy. I just made this in my spare time for fun, learning how to program." It's a, it's a competently made game. It's not a bad game, but yeah, it's just X Fighter. Okay. Seems like a fighter with an X or exchanges like crossings. X Fire. X Quest. Yes, I love this. Oh, this is such a good game. It's a clone of um, clone of Crystal Quest from like the the Mac and Apple II GS days. Oh, what a, what a great game this is! Such an absolutely fantastic game. Highly recommended. I have like an old video of it on my channel. Okay, another, I think we've seen this before. XXIV looks like columns except with numbers instead of colors. 
Zephyr, oh yeah. Yeah, Gemini also also re recently featured this on his channel. Remember this? Y'all see. Um, the file name is YATC, but it's obviously a Dr. Mario clone. Ya Tetris, oh, yet another Tetris, yes. Yes, the Endorian Tales. Uh, I like this game. It's a, it's a it's a basic sort of RPG for DOS. Nothing super special, but somehow I just like the atmosphere and like like the like the feel of this game. It's pretty cool. I've I've featured it on a shovelware video previously. YP, no idea. And that's it. This is the last file. ZZT, the town of ZZT from Epic Mega Games, um, which is like cross which we saw previously that's it this has been all the all the pictures in the game empire 2 pics directory so how many did you recognize um yeah i just i just really love this folder every time i go through this folder it's just it's such a it's such a blast from the past it's such a trip down memory lane it's just so pleasurable it's it's like um uh, yeah i just love it Anyway, I, I went on a little longer than I'd planned, but I uh, hope that it was enjoyable to watch. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope that uh, hope that it was some fun, uh, that maybe you recognized, maybe you had some good memories of games that you recognized, or maybe you saw some games that looked interesting, and maybe you want to go and research them now, look them up and start playing them. Who knows? It's, uh, it's, always a, it's always a mystery when you reach into the PIX folder or directory or whatever. It's always just like uh, you never know what you'll find. Even though I've seen these pictures several times throughout my life, I always I always get surprised. I always see these pictures where I think, wait, I've never seen that before. So it's kind of kind of like the the gift that keeps on giving. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you all later. Take care for now, and bye bye.